So guys, um, I'm the first one on right now, and I'm just going to give you guys a little uh, heads up that Karina is so unbelievably nervous right now. She is freaking out. Oh and as soon as Tony and Karina both hop on here with me, we'll explain why she is freaking out so much. Um, I'm not quite the nervous wreck, but I'm nervous as well. This might be our biggest interview we've ever had. Dude, if you guys are listening to this, you've already seen the artwork. So you already know why I'm freaking the fuck out right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, so my we, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, so uh, just to give you guys a heads up, Tony's not here yet, but we have gotten lucky enough that we were able to book CT. Don't ask us how. We don't fucking know how. We don't know how it happened, but... <laughs> it happened. <laughs> we're going to talk to CT today. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, about a half... Uh, I'd say about half of this interview is going to be dedicated to his new movie and acting. The other half will be challenge-based. Um, we're hoping for at minimum a half hour, but really we're thinking we might get 45 minutes to an hour. Yay. So hopefully we can deliver some good content, maybe ask Chris some questions, Chris, CT, Christopher, Howard, whatever you want to call him. We're going to find out yeah. what his preference is too. Don't worry. So, but you know, we're going to get some, going to try to get you some guys, some good info and maybe get an answer if, uh, if we're going to ever see him again on MTV. Yes. So. Oh my God. Woo. Pop the Molly. I'm sweating. Woo. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. uh, but otherwise, it's a normal Friday for us. I had to go to work for an hour and a half to come home to do this. So I'm fucking amped. <sighs> I'm on my like second huge cup of coffee. So let's go. Yes. This is my second cup of coffee as well. And I am entirely convinced that I am going to freaking panic drink this within the first like 15 minutes of being on with CT. <laughs> like, yeah. I cannot believe that this is actually fucking happening. Like <sighs> my freaking palms are so sweaty right now. Mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti is about to be on my shirt too. <laughs> because real, I, I'm freaking out. Like, oh, my God, if you guys know me, you guys are in the groups, you guys like anything, you guys know that like CT is my shit. Like I run a fan group for him. We'll own a fan group for him. It's just, like he's the only person on the challenge who has their own highlight section on our freaking podcast IG page. Like I spent weeks making highlight videos for CT because there weren't any like quality ones out there like CT is my shit. So I am freaking out right now, guys. Like, <laughs> I don't think you guys understand. <sighs> like my hands are shaking right now. Like I don't I don't even know what to do with myself right now. You should have you guys should have seen me this morning. It was bad. Where's Tony? He's two minutes late. I don't know, but he's late. And that's not Tony like. I told him we were gonna get on 10 minutes early, and he's like, so in 20 minutes. I'm like, no, that's in 13 minutes. Please don't come on in 20 minutes, bro. <laughs> You will not be part of the intro. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, shit. Oh, here comes Tony. Howdy. 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 You ready, buddy? Tony Almost. is fucking wide eyed like I am. He's like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Karina's Jenga like, just, Jenga just went through the cat gate. Like, she was down here. I closed all the doors so that she couldn't be right outside the door. And she was in the window. So I picked her up and she like shot out of my arms, ran upstairs and was at the top of the stairs. But I'd already closed the cat gate in mm. the baby gate. She wedged through two of the bars and just like <laughs> kept pushing until she got through and then hauled ass through the house. So I just messaged Sarah and was like, can you please check on Jenga and make sure she's still in one piece? <laughs> right? <laughs> she's like, dude, fuck you, man. You're not even going to let me hang out for CT. This is messed up. <laughs> yep. Like his his initials are literally one letter short from cat. <laughs> <laughs> what if his middle name is starts with an A? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, Ivan just kind of like walked through the hallway and then turned and looked at us and just kind of stared at me. I was like, don't you fucking do it. Go away. You need to go lay down, <laughs> go take a cat nap, whatever you got to do. Go shit somewhere. I don't even care. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> so I'm hyped. Are you hyped? 
<laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I don't even need to ask Karina. She's literally not even sitting. She's floating I'm, off of the chair. I literally feel like I'm floating and I am just going to be like perma smile this whole time. It's probably a really good thing that he's not going to be on via video. Oh, Karina. Because I just be, be like, handle. yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to ask anything. It would just be you guys and me just staring at him like, hi. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. I was just going to say, it felt like AP English class all over again, because like I watched the movie and then listened to the audiobook again, just to refresh my memory with the story. Because as I, I said to Karina, like some of the story elements were changed and like some of the lines mm-hmm. were given to other people and characters were added. And I was like, I can't be misremembering this book that much. That bad, Because yeah. it's one that I li- like I've read a lot. So when I listened to it again, I was like, OK, right. They just sort of moved things around. Yeah. And here's my thing is. It's I think it speaks volumes on how great the book is because there's been so many iterations of it as mm-hmm. a movie. Yeah. I mean, oh, like, I love the book like, so much. I enjoyed this one. It's it's got its plus. It's got its minuses like all movies does mm-hmm. or do. I think one of my favorite iterations outside of this one would probably be the one they did with Ice T. Did yeah. you ever see that one? The, mm, I, I think so. Yeah. One. Yeah, it was it was completely different. Instead of them being out at sea or anything, he was like a homeless guy in L.A. And these rich guys picked him up, flew him out to like Idaho and fed him for a couple of days and then sent him out. Sent him out to the yeah. island. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There's a, I think there's like a Jean-Claude Van Damme one, too. Um, yeah. And then the pest in the 90s with John Leguizamo was based on this. And then when Quibi was a thing, oh, um, yeah. mm. Liam Hemsworth and Christoph Waltz were in an editor like a, a version i remember of it. that one yeah they just put it out on prime as a full movie because it's all like 10 minute episodes with quibi mm-hmm. so they put it all together in one movie um and put it on prime i haven't got a chance to watch it yet i am excited to talk to him about like you know what made him want to get into acting yeah um you know what made him decide that he did want to play the part of rainsford yeah yeah you know all those things i think that's going to be interesting um we were before you hopped on, I was kind of letting the listeners know that it's going to be about a 50 50 interview. 50% of the time, it's going to be, you know, about most dangerous game and his movie career. And then the other 50% of the time, we're going to try to really dive into the challenge. Yeah. yeah. As much as we can, obviously, like CT has such a huge long history on the challenge. And so obviously, we're not going to be able to do like a huge deep dive just because of like our time limits today. Yeah. But. Yeah. We're going to try to ask the challenge questions that are going to give you guys the most kind of answers about how he feels about the challenge and about the other competitors. Um, So hopefully we, you know, hopefully we do a good job. Hopefully we do you guys proud with this one. I'm, I'm, oh my God. (laughs) Karina just, she, she probably will be silent for the first 10 to 15 minutes of the interview. I will probably be silent for majority. Yeah. For majority, at least of the beginning of the interview. Just mouth agape, breathing into the mic. (sighs) Well, it's one of those things, too, where the pressure is almost off in a way because we are focusing on the movie Yeah, um, that there's not as much pressure to try to to bang out all like our standard challenge questions. Right. Because we already know we're not getting to them all um, because of time and because this is the focus. Right. Exactly. Well, and look, it's it's one of those situations. It's fucking CT. The dude rarely does interviews. Um, The only fan podcast I think I've seen him do is challenge mania if you can even call them a fan podcast I, yeah are they even considered a fan podcast because like not with Derek. I, I don't know maybe that's hard to say because yeah. bananas isn't a fan podcast but scott yeager is strictly a fan anyways that's right, going right, off right. the right. end. ct rarely does interviews when he does when they do happen they're typically pretty short like from what i've noticed 15, 15 20, 20 minutes, minutes. Yeah. so if yeah. we're going to be able to get 45 minutes to an hour out of him uh, we're going to try to go as in depth as we can, time limits withstanding. Yes, exactly. You know? So we're going to do our best for you guys on this. We want to bring you a solid interview and we should be hearing from them any moment. Yeah, they should um, be dialing in any second. I am, yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting. I'm watching my email. Palms are sweaty. Palms Mom's are spaghetti. super fucking sweaty right now. Like they stick together. <laughs> Karina's just sitting here. I like got this. down here and forgot that I had all my workout stuff still sitting like in frame. Because I had started that new program yesterday. Oh, well, yeah. And I was like, I'll have time to do it later. And I got downstairs and was like, I didn't do it later. Right. Well, well it doesn't matter. He can't see anything anyway because they won't be on with video. Yeah, they're so. just calling in via phone. So. That's why all the weights are still on the floor behind me. I just Good moved call. the bench. That's why I didn't do my makeup, my hair. I didn't get dressed. I didn't either. Today. I just yeah. put a hat on. <laughs> 
so did Rick. <laughs> like, I literally just came from work. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I take my hat off, my hair looks the same regardless. You know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> so there's that. But I'm, uh, yeah. There we go. It's, it's Friday. Fuck yeah, dude. I yeah. feel like you're about to drop a hot ass album for the Flock of Seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. There. Oh, there nice. it is. There, there it is. is. Yeah. 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 Got to get like that, that part right. It's almost yeah. like Cameron Diaz from Something About Mary. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Chris. Hey. <laughs> can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I can. Yeah, we can hear you great. Great. All right. Yeah. Well, I uh, I'm on my uh, gaming headset. That's perfect. Actually, yeah. that really helps. Hopefully, uh, we have audio that they can use because I remember I did this um, this one interview and I went to listen to it and it was just terrible. I, I don't know if it was because I was on speakerphone, but the guy said it was okay, but. The, the speaker, the speaker phone definitely um, can affect the audio. You sound incredible right now, and I'm pretty good at editing audio. So we'll, we're going to do our best to yes. get you the best audio for this. So, so we, we got the whole squad. I'm assuming we got Karina, Rick, Josh. Uh, Josh, unfortunately, couldn't make it, but we, we have so to- we got Tony. Yeah, Tony is here with us. Yep. <laughs> I, I have to tell you, I'm not very active on uh, social media, but uh, I wouldn't say troll, but I'm definitely creeping around. <laughs> I, I gotta listen to what people say you know yeah absolutely who I'm with. Yeah, yeah. well um i don't know if you if you put the two together karina actually made you a highlight video last year on your, your birthday. birthday yes oh yeah i have to ask you uh yeah how do you know the pillow people the pillow people have, so um mom was telling me about this facebook group and i guess one of her friends is in it mm-hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you are, are, are part of it. I don't know for some reason I thought you were, but then, uh, somebody <clears throat> had, I guess, made pillows with my picture on it and it somehow got to mom <laughs> yeah. and then I like, freaked her out. I'm like, mom, that's, that's like, that's okay. That's fine. Like, I don't know. And so now she's like, I gotta go through my Facebook and find out who my real friends are. <laughs> yeah, that was a member in our group. I do remember that. There's all this weird shit. <laughs> yeah, so we um we do run a, a fan group, a you know, a CT fan group. Um, and there is a, a like an Etsy creator in there and she does yeah. Um, shirts and pillows and stickers and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Um, so yeah. yeah I'll let her know it's safe. It is safe. It is definitely <laughs> <Yeah>. safe. <laughs> well, yeah. it, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Right off the bat, um, do you prefer CT, Chris? We, we see on the movies it's listed as Christopher, but we just kind of want to ask you what you prefer. Um, Chris is good. I, I, I like that. Um, nice. You know, CT though, I'm used to. It's, it's one of you guys are comfortable with, really. I, uh, it's just I haven't been really, uh, you know, haven't really been going by that name lately. Uh, right. Yeah, it, it, it's it, it makes sense, especially with this, you know, with in which we want to dive into, Chris. Is I always say it's like it's like calling uh, a dancer a stage name, which is not working. Right. <laughs> I don't know if I, can I say that anymore? So I don't yes. even know. Okay, because it, like, this is one of the reasons why I'm not so active on social media. It just it scares the shit. It scares the shit out of me. It's, it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's scary. We're the same way. Um, just kind of put it out there. Um, I'm one of those guys where I speak first and then I think after. <laughs> um, so Karina edits me so we don't get canceled or anything like that. <laughs> and if anything happens, you say something you feel like iffy about, we'll we'll edit it out. We're yeah. gonna. We don't want to yeah. make you look bad. Oh, I appreciate that. No, that's one of the reasons uh, I, I've. I've listened to you guys. Um, I, I like the approach of like whenever there is, would it be, I don't know, dirt or, or drama when someone else's life that you guys are talking about, uh, you know, you always take the sort of uh, more professional approach, I would say, rather than just diving into the, you know, toxicity. Cause I know that's, yeah. that's, uh, yep. you know, ever since like Facebook found that hate algorithm, I think is what people were calling it. Yeah. What was it? It was like, uh, they found a way to track what posts were, you know, generating the most like interactions and come to find out it was the the posts ended up being the ones that would like, you know, build with anger. And yeah. It, yeah. We've noticed it. Yeah. It's easy to get a quick flash in the pan. Um, but anyway, yeah, no, I, uh, I listen to the podcast. I do. My favorite one was, uh, 
drop dead Fred. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, well, not just because, uh, you know, I, I had a good run on that, um, specific episode, but it mm. was nice to hear someone talking about, uh, you know, my family in, in a nice way. You know, I think, um, we love your the, family. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah, I think they've showed this stuff. Between, actually, did they show it? I don't know. Usually when I, when I call home, I'll call them and uh, usually I'll be screwing around with CJ, but yeah, uh, there was one that I'm glad they didn't show one phone call we had because he was in there pink. And for some reason I had like talked him out of pink and then I felt really bad about it. So the next time I called him, I had big T's pink wig on <laughs> and I, I, I made him nervous. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm wearing pink. Pink is cool. And he's like, I don't like pink. I like blue. I'm like, ah, fuck that up. <laughs> we got three boys so i i, I yeah. can totally relate with that i've had that issue too how old are they uh 11 9 and 4 yeah okay yeah cj six and a half you gotta say the half now oh right? yeah, yeah you got you got you yeah that's <laughs> gotta give him that half <laughs> i can't i can't tell him anything anymore can't tell him nothing nothing ever there man i i was talking to karina about this and it's way off subject and we'll get into the movie and it with you yeah but, of course. Uh, i was talking to her i was like i i realized like i got to take a step back with the kids because when we tell them no i remember being a kid and being told no like it was a, a personal offense to me <laughs> and like the world was in it. i was like i gotta remember it's the same for them too like mm -hmm. we stop taking looking so deep into it yeah yeah, yeah. one thing I, I try to do with him is uh not give them uh, the old tried and true because I said so. Because yeah, if, uh, you know, sometimes I just don't want to go down that rabbit hole of why and his explanations. And his, I like it that he uses his words, but now he's getting really good at it. And so it's kind of like he's <laughs> fine. Go ahead and have that piece of candy before dinner. Just please don't tell mom. <laughs> right, right. Dude, I do that with a four year old. I'm like, dude, just take the fruit snacks. Don't scream. Okay. <laughs> It's negotiating with the terrorists. See, I'm still, I'm still in the golden period where, like, I've got a 20 month old, and then I actually have an, I guess she is 10 days old now, um, 10 or 11 days wow, old. Wow, the golden period. What do you mean? You're running, you're running on coffee and fumes because they're, they're not, because they're not talking back yet. Yeah, all right, but you zero sleep. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it, se it seems to be that the young one wakes up and stays up just long enough for the other one to wake up. And you're like, cool. Well, I guess this is how I'm starting my day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the little baby burrito, <laughs> sleep, eat, and poop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, do the, um, we, we had, uh, you know, Lily put everything on the, on the baby registry, and uh, we had all this stuff we didn't use. And there was that camera that was watching the baby in the crib. And mm -hmm. no matter what, I always have to like tilt, tilt my head to the side and do that camera one, camera two with my eyes to see his <laughs> chest moving up and down to make sure he yes. was still breathing. 100%. Yep. <laughs> okay, it's not just a me thing. No, no, no. Dude, I mean, our youngest is four and I'm still at the point where like we still have his monitor in there just in case. Yeah. You know, just yeah. in case. But you're out of the diaper phase though. Yeah. Uh, we're all, almost there where he just started uh we've been potty trained for like the last three months and he mm -hmm. really picked it up this week like he's gone to the bathroom almost every time yeah he's so, stubborn. Oh, that's a nice one that's a did, that's another thing we didn't use the uh the little diaper dumpster that's like uh, having okay. a separate dumpster next to the yeah, that's a waste of money too. With they with are. its own specialized bags that you only can buy so those expensive. bags. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. <laughs> so uh Chris, you know, with um I I know you know who we are, so I, I'm not gonna do an introduction since you listen to us and I really yeah. we're all blown away by that. Like our eyes <laughs> yeah, got yeah, super I big. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm here. I, I definitely listen. That one, um, yeah, like I said, drop different was a good one. Cause it was the first time uh, you know, no, actually it's I don't know if it was the first time, but um, it was just nice. It was nice to hear oh, good. someone say something, you know, someone that people actually saw like what I see, you know, because yeah. I know what they're on the wedding special. It was kind of, yeah. I'll be honest with you, if I could tell anybody, don't do a big wedding. No, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just run away and elope like we should have. That's what we originally planned. We were going to just like a small, we we're going to go to a small island in the Caribbean. And if you want to come, you can come, but it was just going to be, uh, more of a party than anything. And then it turned into, I don't know what that turned into. <laughs> it got to the point where we just like, oh God, I just want it to be over. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't even get any food. I was really looking forward to the little mini waffle, like triangles with the, like the chicken strip on top of the, yeah. Yeah. With, the with the honey. Oh, I was on like a little skewer after it was all over. Everything was gone. 
no. Oh, no. It's your wedding. You can't even get the yeah. food. Man. That's messed like up. It's not about me. That's what everyone keeps telling me. It's not about <laughs> you. It's true. It is it is true. I mean, it's one of those scenes. It's like that saying, what's, what's hers is hers and what's mine is hers. <laughs> yeah. Very true. But anyway, I appreciate those kind words. You know, it was just. Uh, of course. I, don't, I honestly just don't think a lot of people it really gave Lily a shot when she no. came into the picture. Yeah. And so, it. I mean, I can, you know, I understood her frustration where she was coming from and, and yeah. I was in a really bad place too. You know, so we were going through a lot to begin with and, you know, she's always been the rock for me though. She's very strong. And, and I feel like we, we had weathered the storm and we weathered the storm early. So afterward, it was kind of like, well, I don't, we made it through that. I think we're going to be good. You know? absolutely that's the thing is like you know just kind of talking to relationships i mean like mine and karina i think our first two dates all we did was talk about all our like red flags like this is everything that's wrong with me you know what i mean are you sure you want to stay around to get the pros just to just that's like a disclaimer yeah exactly i'm here here and here initial here exactly now when we get in arguments like well you picked me you knew yeah you knew Number 17. <laughs> I'm going to warn you. <laughs> yeah. Subsection three. I'd like to make an addendum to <laughs> clause 37. <laughs> you need to get, you're going to have to make sure you uh, get three votes on that one to pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and one thing we've kind of like really, we try to pride ourselves on is to remember that everything that we see is an edit. You guys are there for, uh, is referring to the challenge for, you know, six, eight weeks, depending on like, you know, especially with quarantine now. Um, and we only see, you know, maybe a whole hour of just you on there, right? Yeah. Throughout the full season. And so we're not getting mm. the full picture. We're just getting the story they're trying to tell and th- that you're a whole person. And, and the same thing with Lily. Um, I mean, obviously you have a large number of fans based off your time on the challenge and, mm-hmm. and they're very passionate fans, but I, I mean, me just from the outside looking in, and of course, that's nothing because every relationship is different. You guys seem like, you know, the couple, like you said, you are like, she's your rock. She keeps you solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's also, she's the adult in the relationship for sure. Yeah. No, I make that clear. That's that was in my list. <laughs> yeah. Item number three. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, no, she's, she's the adult for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I always tell people that, like, so, you know, how they, they always, some people ask me, uh, like, so, uh, Latin woman, huh? It's like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's <laughs> us. Look, at, someone needs to tell the waitress, I didn't order mashed potatoes and it's not going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes <laughs> that sums it up right there i love it i love it yeah oh my gosh like i tell karina we're together because so she can scream at people when they cut us off <laughs> yeah yeah you i know. do that too yep. yeah <laughs> it's you know a, a little bit different italian and portuguese for her so she's uh yeah. she, she's she's my voice <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Mediterranean. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's no messing around right there. So kind of one thing that I've wanted to ask you about this is, you know, obviously we've seen you on the real world. We saw you on the challenge. What made you want to move into acting? Have you all, is that always been something you've thought about? It, it's something I've always thought about. I, uh, I, you know, I honestly, I just think I was, you know, I, I always come up with excuses why I never got into it before. I tried to give it an honest effort. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, back in the day, reality TV was frowned upon in the entertainment world. And if yeah. you wanted to do something else, you had to stop doing reality. And, you know, people like Jimmy Chung did it. Yeah. And the Miz have done it. Um, well, I guess that's the same. I guess it's, you know, either way, you had to stop doing reality to move forward. Whereas now it's a gateway. I think it's mm-hmm. far more accepted than it was before. Um, but then I always would say, yeah, but, you know, I'd rather take the guaranteed short money rather than roll the dice on the long money and that's so i would always come up with these excuses why i never i mean even when i was with i had signed with new york model management a long time ago and i was going to go to new york and i was i wanted to do things that way in my mind i was going to follow in the steps of mark Wahlberg, and i was going to eat from boston i'm from boston and all that sort of stuff and <laughs> uh then uh but then it was just you know i was on the road all the time either filming another challenge or like i'd be doing appearances and I've I've come to the conclusion, and I think deep down, I was just I was afraid to really give it 
just a good shot. And uh, yeah. And so it's not something that I've, I would say it always want, I wanted to do. I, uh, I mean, sometimes I feel like, uh, yeah, that's just something I always wanted to do. I, um, and then now the, the way I, I just figured there's, you know, there's no better time than now. Um, you know, I've, uh, I've had a good run. I don't know if this is my second or third wind on the challenge at this point. And, uh, mm-hmm. I just, I, I felt like after this last win, I, um, uh, like I'm done. Like, I, I felt like I, I did what I wanted to do and I beat myself. Uh, cause you know, it was no secret, you know, when I went through that dad bod era, I was, uh, <laughs> I wasn't in a good place. You know, I was definitely withdrawn and definitely right. eating my feelings and amongst other things. And I, I, I had to, to me, it was like, if I can be good at the challenge, it was somehow, I don't know. It was like, it was all like all I knew. Cause I basically grew up my whole, in my entire adult life doing this. And to me, it was kind of like, if I can not fix here, but if I can beat myself here or beat the challenge, then it was like a way for me to, say, I can get myself back or, or I don't know. Hopefully that's making sense. Yeah, absolutely. And then it went from, and then I, that's when I came back into invasion was because, uh, you know, honestly, I was, uh, I came back because I came back for, for CJ because, uh, I didn't, I knew there was going to time that there was going to come a time when he's going to type in his own name and I'm going to come up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And look, I didn't want to name him, uh, you know, Chris, mom and Lily ganged up on me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and I, I just thought it was vain. I was like, what did I do? Like, you know, I, yeah. you know just emb- embarrassing myself year after year on national television. Like, I don't really want to, you know, he, he's going to type in his name. I'm going to come up. And then next thing you know, first thing he's going to see is stop. He's going to kill him. You know, okay. yeah. chasing after somebody in a house and breaking through doors and like, and we're right. good looks. So I, yeah. So I wanted to come back on and but I want to be better, you know? So it was kind of uh, like getting up off my knees and, you know, moving forward and stop, you know, being whatever it is I was being. And then, you know, got lucky, took that one home. And then there was a little chance for star stand, but that, that was kind of like, Meh. and then, <laughs> you know, I, it's, it's funny. Cause like uh, the dad bought era, you know, from then till now, I, I my wind percentage went through the roof. Yeah. It took me 10 years to get the first one. You know? Yeah. yeah. We talk about, we, we've had the discussion that like you over the last like six, seven years is probably like one of the strongest runs in challenge history. Yeah. It wasn't very loud. I don't feel like it was very loud either. I had a, it's been a good run. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. work smarter, not harder mm-hmm. instead mm-hmm. of, uh, I think, uh, Pride and, and maybe vanity taking taking that out of the picture or taking that down a huge notch actually helped because it instead of uh trying to be the sh- in the in the shine or, or trying to always have to prove that I'm the best that you know I would I, I just wasn't competing for attention or clout or, or a thumbs up you know it I was able to kind of stay below the radar uh you know it was almost like a Darrell play but i i would yeah. uh but i'm still performing well not that he does yes. of course he does but typically it would be a different it was more of an in your face type of attitude you know but then and then i'm rambling at this point but <laughs> no no <laughs> yeah. I, I went below the radar so when people are saying you know he's past his prime this now and the other thing not gonna lie it stung a little bit like when uh team usa left me hanging that yeah. one stung. Yeah. That one stung a little bit, you know, but that, but I was like, oh, okay, okay. We'll see. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. give me a little chip. All right. I'll see you. Yeah. I'll see you. Yep. Yeah. You know? Made him regret it. Yeah. So I would stay below. The, I tried <laughs> to stay below the right now, but it was more of a, I look at, I'm not going to act like I was this mastermind. I just was more, it was more of like just being like water, uh, you know, just going with the flow and just, trying to influence when I could and, and nudge a little nudge here, a little nudge there. And <laughs> people are always going to make mistakes. Yeah, of you course. Know. Well, we, we reference your, the, your current gameplay um, just to kind of jump oh, yeah. into it. We like, we watched John a on these last few seasons of all stars and she's like, Oh, she, she's playing the CT game. Just kind of yep. hang back, you know, do what you gotta do. Fly under um, the radar. Yep. Is she, yeah. 
she's been i don't know i what i mean if that john a was on the challenges that i done with her she would have been a problem for those girls oh mm-hmm. yeah 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 I don't, she's got this confidence about her and i mean yeah yeah we we were talking about it's like maybe you know having having the kid you know kind of pushed her something over else that to fight for yeah you know? something to push her over it but you know she she plays that same kind of gameplay to fly under the radar just you know if she gets to the finals she's tough yeah well, she's gone to how many now three Two? straight three, three, three straight, straight. Three back straight. To back. she came in first in all three of them uh, there just wasn't a first place female for the first all-stars uh, but she technically finished first for the females in the first all-stars too <laughs> Yeah, wow. so <laughs> yeah, that's what's on. It's it, man, it's getting interesting. I mean, um, since yeah, we're on then, this, uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead. So, um, yeah, so there was invasion, and then I believe it was uh, War of the Worlds, and the, what was the one where uh, it was just really cold, and we were in a bunker. That place had me miserable. Oh, total, total madness. madness! And I had just come off a win. It was just uh, I did not want to be there. That season was mm, like, yeah. 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 I mean, granted, if I had won that elimination, I probably could have just sat around and coasted to the final. But oh, man, that place was tough. Yeah. And th- I'll tell you what, though, when we did War of the Worlds and I wish they had shown it, um, I was really proud of the way I played that game because I was on the UK side and it was, uh, we had two alliances on the UK side and they were both competing with each other. And I tried, I did a really good job of trying not to be on the bottom of somebody's alliance, mm-hmm. but in the middle being the deciding vote. Cause I felt like I had more pull that way. So as time went on, I would try, I would just not that I couldn't necessarily control it, but I tried my best to make sure that I would always be the deciding vote. And I would try to keep like the, the Rogan Joss Alliance and then the um what's his name? Uh like the Georgia Theo. Bear and Theo Alliance, yeah. even as much as I could. So it would always be like, let's vote one of that, one of them off, one of them off, one of back and forth, back and forth. And I'd always kind of be the deciding vote and kind of give Ooh. everyone false hope that I was gonna turn to the dark side or I was gonna stay with them, but I was really just <clears throat> and while this was all going on. Cause I really, I, I honestly didn't really feel like I had anything to worry about on from, you know, Kara and, and Polly side. Mm-hmm. And I remember, uh, it was Rogan. I ended up, I, 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 it, in my heart of hearts, I was definitely with Rogan, Joss and, and Kara and, and Co. Um, right. and, but I remember, I forget who it was, was it Polly or Rogan told me about Jordan's plan to eventually throw himself in win switch sides and try to get rid of me so as time was going on they were super great about being honest with it like that was at that point when i was like i just rogan oh yeah i got you like they didn't have to do that yeah and they did so we had this plan like okay this is when we made the switch and we were just going to keep going after uh, you know theo and bear whoever else was not in that circle and but we were running out of numbers we're like guys we're going to do something because sooner or later we're going to have to go against each other unless we get some numbers. Like the thing is, it's like, if, if they keep winning, uh, great, they'll just go back in. Uh, so, but they, it was only a matter of time, you know, it's a numbers yeah. game. So right. when we did the, um, that challenge where I just started walking around like a goofball with the whole rock, paper, scissors with Zach and I'm doing the robot <laughs> on the floating machine. Yeah. Right? <laughs> People were like, what the fuck is going on? So I took it in my own hands to be like, this is what needs to get done. With when this is when Jordan came over, right? Yeah. And then, so we're on our way back on the little boat back to the shore. And Jordan looks at me and he's like, so this is how it is, huh? And I was like, oh, what? You didn't know? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, listen, for what it's worth, we don't want you to go home. Yeah, you, but you're, you're going in every time. But for what it's <laughs> worth, we don't want you to go home. We think you'll really help us win the final. Mm-hmm. And he was kind of looked at Rogan and Joss and they were just kind of looking up in the sky. I like didn't hear what we were talking about. And I was just like, yeah, dude. yeah. We knew what you were trying to do the whole time. <laughs> yeah. And they never showed any of it. And they just made me look like this, like, mope old, like, sad dad who was just wobbling around the house, like, that no one wanted. Like, uh, yeah, it, it made me feel like, you ever see those memes from, um, it's that Pablo Escobar, uh, show oh, yeah. Yeah, where he's narcos. always like standing and staring <laughs> off by himself. Yeah. Like, that yeah. was me on, on that challenge. It was just, like, uh, he's just, oh, that's just, 
that's just grandpa. You know, <laughs> leave him alone. He's quiet. You know, <laughs> well, it, and they didn't show any of it. No, no, they didn't. And, and we've kind of talked about that. That like that season with with like you and Paula and Kari or Kara never going into elimination is probably part of the reason they instituted like the skull aspect of the mm-hmm. challenge yeah. too. Um, well, you know, I always said that it doesn't. It just brings a different dynamic. I don't think it. it I guess if you want to get to the final, you have to go in. Yes, but it just it just creates a different um, a different dynamic where now you can get blocked out. So yeah. it's like yeah. you're preventing someone from going in, but now they're not going to send me in anyway. Yeah, well, yeah, nobody wants to see because <laughs> now they're just, they're just like, well, we don't want them in the final, so we just enjoy your vacation. And that's what I thought was going to happen when I was with Big T. Right, I was always looking for a way out, and part of me was really being like, well, that's that. Let's just ride this out together, BT. Let's just enjoy ourselves on the challenge, and we'll just watch everybody else sail off into the final. And then I had my spaz moment when I picked Cam after I had like given up and was just like, yeah, you know, yeah, never gonna, never gonna switch, never gonna give you up. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like I was tired. I was like, I just didn't see a way out. And, you know, I was just like, ugh, it is what it is. You can't win them all. Yeah. Let's try to enjoy ourselves. And then I got put in a position to, to switch and then I completely spazzed. I mean, I totally could have handled that differently. Yeah. And then I tried to make it better while I was having a it looked like a panic attack when I was like trying to set up this campfire to like talk or to, to tell her <laughs> the truth. And I'm like drinking and I'm all I'm a mess and she wasn't having it. Oh, it wasn't my, it wasn't my, it wasn't my finest moment. <laughs> yeah, we all have those. <laughs> Look, I, as a man that puts his foot in his mouth often, I can, I understand those situations yeah. immensely. <laughs> um, you yeah. know, it's one of those give it 24 hours and try to revisit, right? <laughs> Well, you know, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what's, it was funny about it is because when I finally switched the cam, when I was on her team, I don't even think she cared. Yeah. Yeah. Like she was already doing her own thing. It was so late in the game. I mean, I kind of just did it for for the safety. I can hide under that umbrella, you know, because yeah. they were running in the, running the house that, that season. Yeah. But yeah, I remember she, I don't even think she was trying half the time. She, she, we, we didn't even talk about playing. She, she was more concerned about what Leroy was doing. And I was just kind of like, okay, I guess I'm safe for another challenge before someone steals her. And sure <laughs> enough. Sure enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, goodbyes. So I, can I ask your opinion on this part? Because we've debated this when it got to that, almost that last elimination and Nani had to pick a partner. I don't and- know why. I don't know why she didn't pick me <laughs> to this day. To this day, I, like, I've asked her. I've asked her. To this yeah. day, I know you're gone. I don't. I don't know if she was thinking that. I I don't know. Like I, I've I've tried to figure it out. Like, did she think that she was gonna be on my team in the very end? She was saving me, knowing that she was gonna go in, and it was yeah. be, maybe she thought it was gonna be a guy day, and she was gonna get rid of Kyle. And be on. I have no idea. Like there were times when I was like, uh. Thank you. I feel like I owe you something. I don't. And here's the thing. I didn't know. Yeah. I, I, to this day, I still don't know. And I don't know if she regrets it or not, because I remember, um, she just doesn't like, she'll tell me to not bring it up. She'll just like, JT, just stop. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You don't need to bring it up. Don't stop bringing it up. I'm like, I, I just thought, I, like, what the fuck were you thinking? You know, I gotta know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like she did you the, like a solid, solid on yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm grateful for it. I'll tell you what, though, when we, when that part in the final where we had to do the, uh, the whole locker, um, math problem there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and we had the option to switch. I was heavily thinking about picking her because, like, I've seen her, um, I, I've, I said this a long time ago, too, that I, uh, Nani is underrated. Yeah. And she's, she runs all every day. She's, she's, she's capable. She's smart. She knows she'll do what has to get done. But the only problem was, was when I switch, what happens to the other team's score? Like, I honestly felt, um, I feel confident with, I feel confident. I, I was confident with Nani, but I mean, um, Amber, she is, she can run. And, yeah. and, and so we knew that going in, like, don't worry about that. I just, if I'm going to be the slowest runner, we're in good shape. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But, but the problem was, is if I say I do pick Nani, Amber goes with Leroy. 
Now, Leroy inherits our time because right. I'm assuming, I wasn't 100% sure, but I was assuming that now Amber and Leroy have the same time as me and Nani. And I, I was nervous about that. Okay. Because I was like, well, I don't know what to expect because we didn't really, you know, we just did, I guess, a puzzle. It's a math problem. What are they going to throw at us? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I was kind of like, ah, oh, you know, and plus she, uh, Amber didn't switch when she had the opportunity in the very mm-hmm. beginning. Yeah. But then, yeah, it was tough because I'm like, is this what Nani? Did, did you know this moment was going to happen, Nani? Is that one? <laughs> 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 who told you i'm like i'm like i'm like you know like yeah i didn't yeah you know, that was a yeah i don't know to this day i don't think anybody does wild i mean could you imagine that would have sucked oh uh, yeah yeah for a call bro i mean try to do that i feel like like my knees are already starting to sound like old wood when i wake up in the morning like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, no. I was like, oh god, I got this fucking young twenty-something-year-old kid. He's all fired up right now. It's sitting out here in the cold for about an hour and a half while production sets up this rig. You yeah. know, <laughs> and it's not like you can stay warm. You know, you're staying loose. You try to, but you it's hurry up and wait. And then it's like, he's like, all right, well, go in and just like, you know, you got that old man front when you get up and you're like, okay, I'm coming. Hold on, <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want me to get what? <laughs> Well, it, we've we've all had that debate like you you know you and fessy in the hall brawl and, and like you said you don't want to do a hall brawl what's what do you have to prove just, at this I, point too i i I've one of the attack and this is like a like a fess will understand this but it's, it's part of your strategy is to stay healthy yep yeah and it's not like the days of it, it doesn't matter if you have a broken arm if you and you still want to compete, sign the waiver and keep going. It's not like that anymore. It's everything's right. a liability, you know, and, you know, it doesn't matter if you're yeah. if you it doesn't matter if your finger is doing a hard 90 right now and you still want to compete like Kyle's. You, you can't. Yeah. You just can't. Um, yeah. Yeah. He tried yeah. to hide it. <laughs> Yeah, he couldn't hide that thing. No, no. <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, what are you doing, Kyle? <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, put that thing in your pocket. <laughs> Scare the kids. <laughs> oh, shit. It's had the same reaction when Amanda started talking to him about pregnancy. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. The mucus plug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was a great episode. Too. Oh, you saw, oh, yeah. So you were there watching it? Watching a shit of watermelon. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> when they were sitting in the in the uh, when they were sitting in the living room and she was telling him about mucus plugs and stuff and he was oh. freaking out. <laughs> it was oh, on no. that that episode where you guys did the daily where you had to go around the the spinning thing and then jump and pull the plug and di- and fall into the water. Um, the, the, you had to jump around the contraptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah. Team Sapphire won that. Or yeah. I can't remember who won that. Yeah, that one daily. was kind of scary. That one was a good one. Dude, I, I'm telling you, man, I think the coolest moment in that season outside of seeing you win it, I mean, like I said, we're all fans, but was watching that one that you and Devin smoked oh. it on above the Twinkle water. Twinkle Toes. Yeah. Yeah. Twinkle Toes. Yeah, that was yeah. a great one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they uh, they asked my strategy. Uh, I was lucky enough to be the first one to go because I would grab on to the, the uh, cables that were holding the contraption up. You didn't, they didn't say you couldn't. Mm-hmm. But then after they saw me uh, doing my, uh, my pole dance <laughs> thing up there, they were like, yeah, okay, no more. You can't <laughs> actually touch it. I, but I, I guess apparently you could have grabbed more than one. I didn't know that. Oh, that's interesting. Because I was wondering about that. Yeah, I want to try to grab more. I was gonna say you and Devin look like fucking Steve Young out there, right? <laughs> no, he's another one that I think is underrated. I think if, if he Devin took the challenge serious, not that he does it, but he but he doesn't. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I think he could. You know, he could do something. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Devin's another one of our big favorites. So yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he he he's big on the day one champ of the final. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> it's like I won the million guys it's fine <laughs> yeah, no, I, in all fairness that was uh he was really good at that style of puzzle he had a system down and I forgot what it was but he would just he'd put one piece in and then just shuffle all the other pieces in next to it and just see where it go and if it didn't go anywhere he would start over with another piece and just keep shuffling them down the line to see where it would go and that's smart know. actually yeah yeah, yeah that, that actually is yeah well, that's why I picked him he's a smart kid um yeah 
But then I also just figured since we were splitting into two teams that like I, I would take the head off of whatever the other team was. It's like, yep, okay, right. now, you, now, you, now you're with me. And then plus if he yeah. lost, I, I didn't want, I didn't want to go up against, well, I guess, I don't know. I didn't really know that we were going to have to go against each other, but I mean, probably would have been less stressful to, for me if I was doing that little mini elimination that Kyle and Nelson were doing. Right. Yeah. 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 And you got a little bit of experience with that elimination. <laughs> Yeah, that was a long time ago. So the thing is, I can't hide that anymore. Originally, I was hiding behind like, oh, yeah, I'm still here, even though yeah. I, I heard something pop in my back, you know, when I woke up this morning. <laughs> you know? yeah, but yeah, then no. it was like, OK, wait, no, I'm going to own it and be like and let people think, you know, uh, he's done. He's past his prime and all that and get away with that for a little while. But then that was kind of I couldn't do that anymore because it was yeah. just, you know. I mean, I would come in and they immediately were gunning for me. I was like, okay, I just got to get, you know, get back in shape. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, dude, it, as a bigger guy, seeing that transformation that you made, because I've got the full on dad bod after three kids. It's <laughs> it's it's inspirational. Likewise. Yeah, guys. I mean, I just know. Uh, well, honestly, what I did was just uh, I started slow with um, I would just go to the gym. But I'd say if I was on the channel, I'd walk in an incline. And mm -hmm. I, I originally, what I would do is just, okay, I'm on here for an hour, regardless of what happens. I'm here for, whether I walk, I run, whatever it is, I'm here for an hour. And then I'd be on my phone, watching movies, whatever. And then that was my goal. Like whatever distance I was or how many cows I had burned, whatever it calculated. And then that's how I, that's the score I would beat. Or I would, then I would try to do it in less time or, okay, whatever comes first, you know, four mm -hmm. miles or, you know, 600. K, I would just, I would just got a little game I was playing with myself. And then um, little by little, I started to get more into the weights, but I try to stay away from the, the meat market where everybody's in there. Yeah. You know, with the extra medium tank tops. You know, you know, peacocking in front yeah. of the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing an Ed Hardy hat in there for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. The nut oh is on. Yeah. Slapping their thighs and shit. It's like, Jesus Christ, guy. <laughs> Do you need all of these dumbbells right now? Right. Can I just get a 20 piece and go over do my curls for girls while no one's looking? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know? So I would just go stick to the machines. But then I um I started doing more of um just like stability and mobility exercises. Uh you know, just stuff to um like that half ball bosu ball. I would do stuff on that from squats. I've been watching a lot of that uh knees over toes guy. Oh yeah. Know, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I can't yeah, think that of stuff has actually helped my knees. So like back mobility, like just stretching. Uh, and then, you know, I would, and then I would just, I would stay away from, not that I stay away from the weights, but it wasn't a priority to get swole. It was more to just be functional. And so I'd be doing like a lot of stuff with like the sled or if I was, I would do stuff like curls into a front squat shoulder press and jumping rope. And I would make a little circuit. So I'm getting a good sweat. I'm getting a good burn, but I'm just being functional, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, absolutely. It, and then over time, like my back wouldn't hurt as much. I, f I felt more flexible. And then, uh, and then as the weight started chipping off, I mean, once you stop drinking, stop being like shit, you make a conscious effort, yeah. you know, it starts to come off, you know, I, and I wouldn't weigh myself. I would just kind of, I, I would always, I would judge by my belt. Right. Uh, and I remember it was like, I still, I still have this belt where like I had to actually punch in a new hole. And it was like the proudest moment for me because it, <laughs> well, it's like, don't you think it's time for a new belt? I got you a new belt. I'm like, I'm wearing this one. <laughs> right. I need this. Forever. One. <laughs> <laughs> you were still rocking it. Like, yeah, it was like my little blankie, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I love it. Love it. Well, um, Chris, I wanted to ask you a couple of hypotheticals in regards to the challenge. And then I want to, if you got the time to do a, a deep dive on the movie, uh, your yeah. experience on it. Um, but the hypotheticals, look, we know you get asked all the time about the go, the go question. I've heard your answer. I'm sure everybody's heard your answer. Yeah. I think a better question is who would be like your Mount Rushmore for men and women for the challenge? Just like who have meant the most to the challenge? Um. Look, I think the GOAT, the greatest of all time, that's for people to decide. I don't think that's something you can campaign for. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. not something, you know. And I've always, like I, I've, I said before, like I only compete against, my, against myself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
But from Mount Rushmore, uh, I mean, shoot, playing, playing favorites now. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think if you were, as a from a whole production perspective, or just like uh, if you were just trying to win, or, or the whole package, like the triple threat, you want someone who's gonna, you know, entertain plus perform well. I think it's the triple threat. You have yeah. to look at it that way. The one that brings all of it to the game, right? And for you specifically, not necessarily for the show as a whole, but yeah. who like you think brings it for you. Oh, that's 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 a big that's a big decision. We, we, <laughs> we can table and come back if you want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let me marinate. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, like Fair it. enough. <laughs> all right. This one's this one's a little bit easier. I can just like picture like people listening to it, like slowly moving their face closer to their phones. Like, what's he gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> you know? and, like, who's he gonna say? <laughs> bom, bom, bom. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll release that part as an extra, like two weeks later. Or something right. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be funny, actually. <laughs> we're, we're, we've got a whole story kind of we're working on on Instagram for this to get people going. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, no, hold on. Let me pull up these notes I, I got from you guys. <laughs> Gonna probably uh, do a little research on that one. That's all right. Okay. Did you okay. want me to jump into the next question? Why you sure, is on it that? The, uh, if you had to choose one. I was actually going to ask you about uh, if you were going to f- be on any any of the seasons that you weren't on, one you would have wanted to be on. Um... I mean, I would say no, things happen for a reason. However, I think it would have been kind of fun to go on the show with a family member. Oh, yeah. Just to just to show somebody back at home uh, to give them a taste of what it's like, you know, because, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, you know, for a while it was, uh, you know, you go to a Christmas party. Like, I'm not a, I, 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 my opinions don't count anymore. Because it's like, oh, what do you know? Not everybody can just get on TV. <laughs> <laughs> or it's, or, you know, I'll come home and my, my aunts will bust in my chomps, you know. Oh, here comes the superstar. You know, so <laughs> I had to make it a point. I had to make it a point to to not lose the accent, but I had to, I just got tired of repeating myself. Yeah. So yeah. if I wasn't, you know, pronouncing my, uh, or I just, you know, in, in Boston at the ER is an AH. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, yeah, I remember my aunt, my aunt, I think it was my aunt Debbie. She was on like, oh, what, oh, what's the matter? You, you superstar, you forgot where you came from now, huh? It's just because I just, well, where's your accent? And it's just like, uh, oh, I can't. I'm, I'm so, yeah, yeah, fine. Give me the mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of my ex coworkers was from Boston, and we used to give her shit every time she'd say cockies. Cockies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I uh, when I did my original um, tape for the Real World, um, I I I didn't know this, but I apparently when I said I played God in high school, they thought mm. I was played God in a play. <laughs> oh my god! I was talking about basketball. Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Brought Satan up. Sent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've stepped for days. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We broke Rick. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh that, that got me. That got me. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, so I think that would have been fun. I I know it was between my sister and I believe my cousin Tommy. Mm, okay. Uh, Tommy would have been a lot of fun. He would have shook up the house. My sister, she she didn't because she was uh her her career really started picking up and then there was something where like if she had left, she would basically have to start back at the bottom or something like that so it wasn't mm. worth it uh that makes but sense she was the she's the youngest of of five only girl so she would have been oh yeah she would have yeah 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 yeah, yeah she would have she played she she played sports her whole life and everything too she would have been fun i think either that or we would have kicked off <laughs> i mean yeah you either get kicked off or you take a win from cara one of the two right yeah <laughs> yeah you know what i uh yeah do you know what haunts me about Kara? Is that one, uh, that one puzzle we did together when she had the broken hand and no one wanted to be on her team. Yeah. yeah. And that puzzle still haunts me because 
I'm so I'm usually pretty good at those. Yeah. Those tanograms. That's one of those moments. That's like, fuck, I wish I could do that over. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to scrap a question to go off this because we've talked about this, too. We we think, you know, we we all want to see that rubber match of you and, and Johnny again. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, me and him, one for one, uh, got me on that uh, mountain. Uh, you know, still think there should be a little asterisk next to it. But ain't she ain't trying. Uh, <laughs> But they were one for one. That would be nice. Um, and then, you know, me and Jonah were one for one, too. Yep. But yeah. then we won together. So I feel like I'm good. You good? I'm happy, you know? Yeah, we, we call that one and a half each right That there. guy's a menace, man. That guy is a menace. Someone that runs marathons for fun is no joke. Yeah. He's just got this. Yeah. Yeah, man, we smoked us in 30-30. Uh, Fucking the- smoked us. We 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 talked to him about that one. He told us about like you know, it, dude, the fact that he did that with a fractured leg was it though? It was a, let's say a hairline fracture. Was it though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's uh, like that Bill Burr joke when he talks about uh, rescue dogs. You know, oh, you should, yeah. <laughs> did you pull them from a burning building? <laughs> did you really rescue them? <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, you, you want to yeah. try that? Uh, if you had to choose the the team to run a final with, to run a final with, yes. Ooh, um, ah, uh, uh, yeah, it's just it's, it's overwhelming when it just the 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 the, the list is just everybody's so on the table because then it's like, fuck, it's gonna come back to haunt me. Yeah, <laughs> can't believe you didn't pick me, bro. Right, <laughs> he paid too. <laughs> right so, and that's the thing too right some people are so like specialized like jordan like great all-around player right like triple threat but then there are certain players that are like great at you know uh, yeah. dailies and stuff so yeah. it's it's, yeah. it's yeah. uh i mean yeah yeah sometimes having it's it's that's tough because it's it's nice to be able to like um say for example if it was like uh let's say like if me and bananas were on a, a team running a final, right? And there was four of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's nice to know that he can splinter off with somebody else. And I know I don't have to worry about them. Yeah. Right, right. Same thing with so many other people, you know, yeah. doing it. Um, you know, girls wise. I mean, there's so many strong girls too. Yeah. And there's mm-hmm. it, it just some people who were just there. You get, a, you, you get them running and they're gone. And then there's other people who just, you know, they just, they're as cold as ice. It's like, you know, that they, yeah. they don't get frazzled. There's other people. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of pressure. You guys are coming with the heat. <laughs> if I, if I, so if I had to run uh, with one other male and two females to make a team of four. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'd almost want to say at this point, at this stage in, in, in my challenge career, like, that's like, who can I help win? You know, who can I help get that? Yeah first the first dub I yeah. like that you know yeah I think that would be a well I'm shit I'm gonna throw out my favorite thing I, I'd like to see you help Tori get her first dub I thought you were gonna help her get it this last season <laughs> I know um, you know I mean tough break yeah. it just uh it, it did seem like you were kind of rewarded for coming in last yeah but yeah not, yeah um it, it was an awkward it was an, it, was, it was awkward it was weird uh yeah but you know what uh, I'm, I'm taking it yeah right yeah i'm fucking best thing ever happened to big brother just fucking <laughs> amber just, casey like go. yeah i love my dumb and dumber outside like here you go is it coming in? Here you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that so Anybody much. Anybody else coming in? Anybody else want one? One one. Here you go. Oh I'm shit! Just kidding. I fucking love it though. Love <laughs> <that. Yeah. laughs> and you get a final win. <laughs> you get. <a> win. <laughs> All you Every- motherfuckers that were talking shit about me. He's back. He's fine. He's old. He ain't shit. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be honest. I really think Fessy starts shit with you because he wants to do a rival season with yeah, your partner. Probably. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, you know, I, 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 I had a moment with him. I forget what season it was where I was just telling him, like, did, yeah, just they, they obviously just be the villain. Just be a villain. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, uh, you know, they, they, there is a sort of, 
it's weird. You can't kind of, it's weird. So and you don't want to say that because I feel like the, the kids nowadays, they kind of, it's not, it's, I feel some of it seems a little more premeditated than before. Mm-hmm. I'll say, I mean, it's not mm-hmm. like nobody, everybody plays into it. Don't get me wrong, but uh, it's just like, did like before when we were doing the challenges, you you did it for the fun and you, and you got exposure from it, but then you would take that exposure and apply it to something else off the show. And for yeah. most of us, it was our appearances wasn't really much you can do with it, you know? It's like mm-hmm. a free vacation. Uh, but nowadays, I mean, this guy's got like cameos and OnlyFans. One more kid from these challenges tells me I need to have an OnlyFans. I'm going to just, I'm going to jump off my bunk bed. <laughs> no, oh, you don't no. have an OnlyFans. I'm like, dude, I, I got a, I got, I got a family. I was like, oh, bro, oh, no. And then I never understood this whole no face, no case thing. I'm like, but yeah. it's your profile. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's so, your profile. But, so they know it's you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> I don't quite. Yeah, I don't get it. So they don't have to leave their house anymore. You know? No, just, no. Like, fuck, man. I see a lot of your fans always like, when's CT going to do cameo? When's CT going to do cameo? And I was like, could you imagine if Chris actually did cameo? He would never have time to do anything else because of uh, like the amount of your, like the size of your fan base of people that would buy cameos all the I, I time. Don't, I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. It just kind of makes me, it's never really been, I don't know. It just, I've thought about if I did use it, maybe I could do it for like a, we do like a limited time yeah something but for i don't know for some sort of benefit or something like that but I, I don't you know so so you can really like make a make a put a nice dent but it was it'd be something that would i'd like to see something that would actually you can actually see who it benefits right you know rather yeah. than just raising money and sending it into the ether and you don't know what happens to it you know i'd rather if I can help someone that way, uh, I'd be up to doing something like that. Like I had a friend of mine who was, uh, his daughter was ill and, uh, I had saw, he had like a, uh, I think it was a GoFundMe or something like that. Mm-hmm. I forget what it was, but I just basically, I wasn't thinking anything of it. I just took it and I posted it. I think they wanted to raise like, I think it was like 22 grand or something. He ended up getting it done in like a week and it was like, oh, great. I think like, I don't wow. mind stuff and they could see who directly helped, you know, rather than, I don't know. It just seems weird to me, like that dude. Yeah, I am CT. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pretend like I know the people, and like, what do I even say? Then they send me. I have, do I have to say whatever they read? They send me. Like, what if it's some shit that's gonna get me canceled? Like, do I? Am I obligated to do it? Like, no, you're yeah. not. You can you can yeah. deny requests if you don't want to oh, do like, it. Condoning hate crimes or some shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not. <laughs> rather send a dick pic than do this shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, you got you got Karina like with I'm that. On one. There with like a, I got a fucking screen mask on. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice baklava. It turns out it's just bananas sending you all these cameo requests to get you in trouble. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> I make like a remix to the song. I make it fap. <laughs> I make it fap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh wow <laughs> coming around the back side it's Dinah Mike and if you're nice Dinah maybe <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like, a, like an intro I come out with like like the, the mask outfit with the with the big teeth and everything right. oh shit yeah I don't know I don't know if that's like do they do that I don't know apparently they're killing it like so I got one uh, for Karina it's like they do the sh- challenge now to promote their OnlyFans that's what it really is. Yeah. yeah. Their social media. Yeah, exactly. I mean, go to them. I mean, if you can figure out how to monetize it, you know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> I, I just, can you imagine that? Oh, God. Yeah, enough. I just, I guess it's, it's not as a big deal as it was, I guess. So like, I mean, shit, you know, I'm in my 40s now. So I'm 20 something, you know, just got shot out of a cannon and I'm on TV <laughs> traveling the world, not a care in the world. Right. <laughs> Probably already sending off the uh, the DPs anyway. I might as well make some money off of it, right? Right. Yeah, at that point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that's how it starts. Next thing you know, it's like you're getting the private messages for the election more cash. Next thing you know, mm-hmm. 
it's a slippery slope. You're hanging upside down with a ball gag. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Shooting ping pongs, ping pong balls. Like. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You fuck up and put it on your cameo by mistake. <laughs> oh, Bro, look, look. Merry Christmas! Put it on Instagram stories. <laughs> I'm, I'm a couple years behind, uh, just a couple years. Like I'm in my late 30s, but like one of my biggest fears is being on a website and accidentally hitting the share button. Yeah, <laughs> that's a scary. That's, that's a scary terrible. scenario. <laughs> Oh shit! All right, so, so real quick, we'll switch gears on this one. I, I actually I had one last challenge we question. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're on the deep end now, but go uh, ahead. Yeah. No, I, I I had one more challenge question, and then um you know we can dive into the most dangerous game. Um, but I'm just actually curious. So, out of all of your challenge wins, is there one that meant the most to you, and why? Um, winning my first one after so many years was a big deal for me. Um, yeah. But I, I do think Invasion, Invasion has got, to me, it meant a lot more. It was sort of, uh, that one meant a lot for me because it was kind of, um, you know, you know, getting back up on my feet and, and like, I don't know, yeah. you know, it was like, a, yeah, that was, a, that one was important for me because it's like, I can do it. I can, I can be better. I can get, you know, I got this, like, you know, what? it's not, you know, right. That one was kind of a, a new chapter, you know, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Like the, you know, your like reintroduction. Um, I, I love that win. That's probably my favorite win as well. So I love that. <laughs> yeah, that was a big one. I think it was. I would say Invasion. Yeah. Here's a middle of the ground, middle of the road question that spans the two. So <laughs> we've got kind of like the three eras of CT and then you've got the most dangerous game. Mm. Which era of CT do you think fares the best in the most dangerous game? Um, hmm. I would say I would say later CT. You know, I I I, I would say l- later because the, the guy he's you know he's 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 definitely he's definitely broken inside and he's he's got this experience. It's familiar with um. Um, yeah. and he's, but he's regaining himself again. And he, he's finding he's, you can see his, I'd like to think that over time, you can see the, his strength coming back. He comes in, you know, this was at a time where PTSD wasn't a thing. It was kind yeah, of right. just rub some, rub some dirt on it, you know, right. different times, you know, people were generally a lot harder back then. Mm-hmm. And, but you also didn't know. You know, he, you don't know. This it, it wasn't exactly. You don't know if he just signed up. This is he, more than lucky. He was drafted, and you don't know right. what he was. But he couldn't have been an accountant, for all we know. It wasn't right. like yeah, he was this war yeah. hero, but he doesn't see himself like that because he sort of, you know, he's he just he did what he had to do to survive. But did he have to become the thing that he was fighting? And was it worth it to do that? And he's sort of living with this, you know. He's, He's still stuck in that time and he, he's, you know, he's, he's alive, but he's not really living, you know, he's yeah. still, yeah. he's still carrying that burden heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And his father means well, and his father's trying to snap him out of it. And he's, you know, let's go on a hunting trip. See, you can take what you've learned from the war and apply it to, and, you know, deep down, does he really want to shoot another gun? Does he want to? Doesn't he seen enough killing? I guess, you know, right. Yeah. yeah but absolutely. he's doing it for his dad. I, you know, because he, you know, it's like, it, you know, typically you would say like, uh, you know, sins of the father or, you know, the, your parents, you know, pass their mistakes down the line. But Rainsford, he's it's almost as if he knows he's breaking his father's heart and he's like sort of passing him back up the line. Right. You know, another thing, too, is I um I really hope that. And I know it's going to happen. It's because, you know, a familiar face. Right. But I wanted I hope that people when they when they watch the movie that they see Rainsford and not CT. If that makes sense. Right. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. That you makes know. that makes total sense. But I'm not going to lie. I definitely had uh, there were definitely things I could draw from when it came to the challenge. Like, okay, I'm on an island for three days while people are chasing me. <laughs> right? Right. Trying to get rid of me. Yeah. I've been here before. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Little mini challenges along the way, you know? 
keeping a low profile checkpoint, AKA, you know, traps and, and shootouts and, you know, right. I love it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I was actually curious, was there anything like specific about the most dangerous game that kind of drew you to that project? Like, did have you read the book or seen any, any of the other iterations yeah, of it? Well, I, yeah. I, I had to do, uh, I did. I, I I had to, you know, do some research. And uh, one thing was surprising to me, though, I didn't realize um, it was still taught in schools. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, teachers would be commenting, oh, I, you know, I, I make my students read this every year and now I want to make them watch the movie. And I so was like, how cool would it be if like one day down the line, CJ comes back from school and he's like, yeah. Why didn't you tell me you were Rainsford? <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh my yeah. gosh! Like, dude, your dad's your dad's Rainsford, bro. Right, <laughs> <laughs> bro, dude. <laughs> dad, yeah, I, that, that'd be so cool. Like, yeah, that's, right, that's awesome. <laughs> you know, so you better not, <laughs> you better not fail that exam. <laughs> How can you fail? Your father was there. <laughs> So when was Rainsford always your goal when you want when you decided you wanted to get involved in in the project? No, no, I I, I just wanted to uh, be a part of it, however I could to um, you know if you felt um, you know talking with the director, it, it's I wasn't expecting uh, I wasn't expecting to be Rainsford uh, Sanger. Hmm. I yeah, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't expecting it. And then when I found out, I was like, "Oh wow, okay, it's a lot of pressure." You put a lot of faith in me. I appreciate the the confidence. You know, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna go throw up. I'll be right back. <laughs> you know? Oh, we know the feeling. <laughs> yeah. So it's like I had a like. Okay, I felt like I was taking a crash course. You know, from acting coach to just anything I could do to prepare. Uh, and, and just a lot of you know reading, watching, just. Just yeah, my act coach was great. It really, just helped me prepare, pre- to prepare. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, I was I wasn't expecting it. You know, I was like, okay, someone believes in me, but then I was like, wait, who's gonna be in it? Johnny, Johnny fucking Rico, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Want to know more? A little Starship trope, my guy. And then yeah, you know, I was like, Sniper Major League, got Tom Berenger. Breakfast Club over there. Bruce Dern. John Bender's your dad. Right. right? <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Yeah, that was that was great. I, I mean, I felt like I, I got thrown right into the fire. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Yeah, like, you're going to figure it out uh, when you get there. You know? <laughs> Here you go. Have fun. <laughs> i tell you what, it is, it is a lot different. Um, I mean, I would say like the only similarities is the equipment. Uh, right. Right. Yeah. You know, for one, the challenge is very linear, you know? Mm-hmm. And yeah. then, uh, you know, when, you, when you're filming, it's kind of like, okay, you know, everything's so you everything's flip flopped around for efficiency and, and, you know, or it's, you know, we could only have a certain, you know, a certain people for a certain amount of time. So we got to get this out of the way now. And then you just, so to being able to, you know, turn it on and off and, you know, being able to switch right. from you know so it's important to and that's what i was learning from from my coach was like given circumstance given circumstances physical state intention and you're always you have your own little notes that you're making so that way when you get your your sides and of what we're doing today so you can prepare for it as much as you want but then when you get into wardrobe or wherever or makeup or whatever it is and then like okay someone comes and hands you your sides you're like you're going through it like wait what scenes are we doing today Oh mm-hmm. shit! Yeah. I gotta grab my binder and now. I'm like, okay, where was I with that? Okay, I was feeling this way, and this is going on, and okay, so I already. And you just try to pull in from that and do the best you can to to um really just you know really just sh- help the director to to show what they want to show, you know, right? And do Absolutely. the best you can to tell that story the way they want to be that story to be told. Um, and I personally love it. I, I I love being able to dive into somebody and yeah. really just try to bring out a truth in that person to make it, you know, real. Um, and it's, uh, and I don't, I, I can, I don't know. I, I can sort of hide behind these characters. Whereas it's like CT is like, sometimes I wonder if I should, sometimes I feel like I should get sagged for that guy. You probably should. <laughs> <laughs> you probably should. <laughs> you know? 
Yeah. That makes sense. You know, it, you know, going, you know, as they say, like method acting with it, right. You know, mm-hmm. really diving deep into that character of being Rainsford and dealing with that burden he's carrying while being involved in such. Well, a, and that, that shift in the character too, Yeah, you know, like playing both of those two different sides of him. Yeah, I would do a lot. I was doing a lot of research on like PTSD and, and, and like soldiers post-war. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wanted to, I didn't want the, the uh, I mean, there's different, there's different ways you can, you can take it. You can be a, a sort of a more aggressive approach to somebody who's traumatized from, mm-hmm. from war right. or sort of a more passive and, uh, you know, we went with the more, um, softer spoken, I think. Right. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. And that's that's kind of what I meant. Like it it kind of felt like, you know, the first kind of half of the movie, you know, Rainsford kind of felt very soft spoken, kind of timid. Um, and then it, you know, once you guys kind of got out into the into the the jungle, um, mm. it was kind of like a flip in his in his character there. And I, I just I it's thought you handled that really well. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I, I uh try and <laughs> you know, I definitely, uh, I definitely uh you know, I, I definitely see my I I, I mean I, I'm told not to watch the movies but i'm like that's how you learn like i have to see how cringy i was in my first movie right <laughs> you know? gotta, now, gotta watch like, right see where you can improve right right yeah. you know and so i have to tell people like okay think of this movie well i want you to watch this movie like you watch porn. just fast forward the first 15 minutes okay <laughs> wait and then you get to the good stuff okay <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my gosh mm. that's great <laughs> Yeah. So there, I I have to say, like, there was a moment, I think my favorite moment in the entire film, I watched it last night with my wife. And I think my favorite moment is the conversation they're having with Mary about um, her opening the chocolate shop. Like that, that moment is just like perfectly crystallized in the middle between the transition of Rainsford at the beginning and the transition of Rainsford at the end. Sort of when you realize that it's, it's somebody else that you're looking after as well. And that you have to see through this. It was just mm. this super awesome moment. That was, it was great to see. And it was such a real moment just captured on film. I appreciate that. Yeah. So with, with Mary, I, uh, I, but this was at a time where I, I thought it was important to, well, Sanger, I think what he's trying to do with her is to try to keep her in the game. I mean, she yeah. just went through yeah. a traumatic experience and, he, you know, he knows that it can shut someone down. And like, I, you know, Sanger needs her. He, yeah. She's saving him just as much as he's saving her. You know, I don't, I don't want to give away anything too much, but if you look deeper, um, for one, um, shoot, I don't want to give it any spoilers, I guess, because I don't know what I can't can say. But when, um, like further down the line, the only reason they even get help was because of her right you know otherwise you know that's like i'm speaking in tongues right now (laughs) and no one's like what the fuck is he talking about that's how i felt saying the first part i was like how do i say this with giving enough information that you know what the heck i'm talking about but that people will still you know that i know you know that i know yeah exactly Uh, yeah i i will say this i really enjoyed the moment um when i watched it was and without, like you said, giving away too much, is the first real interaction where Sanger is kind of bringing back his past, and he has that interaction with the the Baron. That first one where he starts screaming Rainsford. That was, I think, one of my favorite parts. Oh yeah, that was so cool. Yeah, it's amazing what people see. Uh, yeah, there there are moments where I'm like, okay, I can definitely do better, and then other people are like, oh, that was great. I'm like, you sure? I mean, I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, you're gonna be more overly critical of yourself. That's yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, I think most people are like, I don't, I don't even listen to our podcast because I don't want to hear my voice. <laughs> So I can only imagine like watching yourself on a big screen too. It's okay. I listened to him like five times through editing and stuff. So, (laughs) Um, and and to kind of go back to what you were saying earlier, it, it what like, I was obviously excited seeing that you're starring in this, but then to see like the people that you're starring with, like Judd Nelson, Nelson, Tom Berenger, and then Bruce Stern. Bruce Stern. Yeah. yeah. And then seeing the one that got me was seeing Casper because yeah. I'm a Starship Troopers. Like, I fucking love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he does. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I, 
you know, I'm an 80s baby. So like I'm looking at everybody like, how do I be cool? Be cool. Don't cheese. Don't cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> kind of tie it back to that moment, like uh, in Total Mass, where you looked at Jane and like, "Don't make it weird, bro." Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I want to take photos and start rifling them off the family memories, so that way you can be like, <laughs> "Fuck you and your real job." <laughs> Look at me and my fake job. <laughs> Look who I'm hanging out with today. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You know? Rico. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> my dad loves Major League. You know? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a classic. Same. Yeah, yeah. We, when yeah. we when we first started talking about it, like we started talking about like the different movies, and I was like, "Oh God, it's I, I would ever say the substitute with Behringer." Oh yeah, such a good one, such a good movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I uh, they were great. I I feel like I learned a lot from them. the the. Uh, I tried to. I didn't know. Like I I I would just like I would be on set even though. Um, that it was, I didn't need to be there, but I just wanted to see some of them in action and mm-hmm. yeah. how they can just turn it on and off. And just, I don't know, anything I can just pick up from them. Uh, like, uh, Judd, he was, uh, I mean, he had, he just had so much energy and he was just, just quick about everything. And the one thing I learned from him was he would always say, use it, use it. So if, if it was, uh, like if I was getting frustrated with something, he'd be like, no, use that. You, like everything was just use, use everything. Like just mm-hmm. absorb. And yeah, but he was, he was quick. Um, he was just so sharp. Tom, uh, Berenger, he, uh, he really took the time. And for some reason, I don't know why, but Tom gave me like the vibe of like disapproving father to me for some reason. <laughs> so I felt like, I was, I don't know why. I just felt like I was going to be in trouble. Yeah. I don't know. Like, <laughs> he's got that face. He's yeah. got that. Yeah. Wait till your father gets home vibe to him. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like that, that meme of Tommy Lee yeah, Jones. Yeah. But he was so kind and he actually took the time to, you know, we were hanging out in the trailer. He came into the trailer and we were going over just briefly, like what the scene was coming up. And it was the, uh, the one where we're in that when we finally find some shelter and, uh, it's like that moment of, it's sort of like the moment where we can f- basically first let our guard down. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. And there's that scene with me and Mary and that he's like, he was saying like, you guys can really do something special here, you know? And so he was just, so it was nice to actually have, you know, like I'm sitting there like, and I'm like the whole time when he's talking, I'm like, I am in, the trailer right now, Tom Berger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, just I'm just yeah. like nodding at him, like yo, yeah. <laughs> Platoon sniper, me. I'm just like, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. get a fact to watch. Watch yeah, Major then, League uh, that night. But I tell you what, the most intimidating one was Bruce Darren. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Understand? Yeah, yeah, he was just. I didn't even think he knew who I was. <laughs> you know, he's just he's just he's just not yelling at everybody but he's just like he's just as the <laughs> i i he just bruce darren so like when they're i was watching them um film uh a scene and it was just it, he just comes off effortless in, in what he's doing and it's just mm-hmm. the way he can just it's just watching him spin the scene and just make it people squirm in a way where he's like just just fucking with people it was it was amazing. It was fun. <laughs> Dude, th- that whole that, yeah. that whole scene with him uh, in the beginning. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I oh, love yeah. that whole that whole section. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was great. And I mean, it's like it's doubly imposing because not only is it Bruce Dern and it's Bruce Dern, but then he's also Laura Dern's dad. So he has like that imp- that imposing nature of both of them being absolute powerhouses. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then I spent a lot of time with uh Casper too, and he was I mean, he, he was just really easy to talk to. And he would uh yeah, just anything I had questions about about, you know, what he would just like calm down, you're overthinking, like relax, chill. <laughs> That's awesome though, that they were so supportive. And he had to, and he had, yeah, they were you know you know what was great too? Uh Kevin Porter, uh he plays Ivan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were yeah. doing all yeah. these fight scenes and uh yeah, he was, it was fun working with him because he was, uh, he was showing me a lot of, um, just ways to protect yourself when you, you, you do the fight stunts and 
you know, little tips on like how to fall, what to watch. So he was very kind with, uh, it's very good at like, make sure everything was safe around us. So like, we don't like everything from like getting thrown into a nail or, right. um, you know, make, yeah, it, it, working on the fight scenes with him was a lot of fun. Cause he, uh, you know, I, I remember I was like, I'm like in there, like, oh, it's like I'm gonna be a real beef. He's like, what are you doing? No, slow down. You gotta <laughs> sell it. What are you doing? I'm like, but you know, I'm like, why would I ever throw a haymaker from way down here and telegraph it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're filming a movie. I'm like, right. Okay. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So See, I feel like I oh okay. sorry, go ahead. No, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, and then he'd be like, Okay, so after you throw that haymaker, I'm gonna throw you into the wall i was like weird. he's like but don't worry he goes check it out see if there's anything you're afraid of where exactly do you want to land i'm like well if i can land in between the studs <laughs> i can <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> i'm like this is the shit that i'm talking about i'm like okay but so i if i'm horizontal when i land in between these studs i can kick my i can kick my heel through the side of this wall would that look cool like, I don't figure it out. Let's try it. Let's find out. Yeah. 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 Oh shit. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, he actually he actually broke a frying pan because we uh oh I think my it's, gosh. I believe it's called tapping. Like when you when you when you're you know when you're in a fight scene, you're not supposed to actually hit somebody, but yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You have this big fucking frying pan and it's got like he's like supposed to block it or something, and it was like bing, and I look at him like, oh shit, are you okay? <laughs> in the fucking thing broke in half and i'm holding the little tiny hand of this like cast iron frying pan i'm like no oh, shit <laughs> stomach drops <laughs> yeah oh my gosh yeah i'm rambling at this point oh uh, no you're good you're good i was actually gonna say like i i always like watch like those fight scenes and i'm like dude that would be like for me like that seems like the coolest like funnest part that it would be for like filming a movie yeah but is is that is that like the funnest part or like what was your favorite part about filming? I, I, I felt like I had a, I, I, you know, in a weird way, I do feel like the the challenge did prepare me for some of these aspects. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, like the conditions itself, because you know we're outside and stuff like that. I was willing to take that, but like stunt work, like you know, we're doing all this crazy stuff. Where we're falling, learning how to fall. I've yeah. been learning how to fall forever. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, no, I'm serious though. Like. Granted, I wasn't 40 feet in the air, but still, um, yeah, it, that was, yeah. Oh, another thing that was a really good compliment was when the, um, the, uh, the AD, one of the cameramen was, uh, he said, um, one of his concerns was that I was going to have a hard time finding the camera, but because of all the reality experience, I'm used to pretending that the camera's not there. Right. So I'd always be able right. to, so I had this, I guess I had, it was a really nice compliment. I had this, uh ability to um find the camera and pretend it wasn't there right you know? subconscious blocking right yeah. in the line is what he would say uh that was <laughs> that was a pretty cool compliment so it's like when you're the you know it's you're tiptoeing around the camera that was a nice one shout out to Eamon <laughs> shout out to Eamon yeah no yeah. It, and I did nowhere anywhere near any of this stuff but like high school plays and they, they always refer to it as stage awareness knowing where you are on your stage where you're mm -hmm. where you're supposed to be turned how you're supposed to look but yeah, yeah. I can see how that all that experience would directly correlate to you know kind of giving you a leg up on someone that had never done a movie before yeah or filmed before or filmed before yeah yeah absolutely yeah it, one thing I, I kind of wanted to ask about this is it if you could, if you could have picked any role, would you have picked Rainsford for yourself? Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I, I don't know if that's up to me, you know? That's fair. Yeah, no, that's, you that's know, fair. It's kind of where, so, where you think I fit, you know? I, I'll give it to Justin. I, I think you fit the character of Rainsford, Rainsford best. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, Thanks. I, I, the only other one I could see is if you and Casper switched, you play the Baron. Right. But I don't know how your German accent is. I don't know how if I could, yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a lot of W's getting replaced by V's. What? What is that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh. <laughs> I grew up with a German grandmother. I know all about that one. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Sounds like they're playing Street Fighter. Yeah, that it. Ingested. <laughs> Gotta clear that phlegm out real quick, right? Uh, uh, it, with um, this being 
your correct me if I'm wrong, your second movie, correct, that you've done? No. Yeah. Well, so um, you know, funny story about how I got into most dangerous game. Um, so I, I was introduced to to uh Justin Lee, the director, and we were kind of going back and forth, and I was like, you know, listen, um, you know, I'll do I, I was telling them like I I I'll do anything like in front of the camera, behind the camera. I just want to be um you know, I'm showing the initiative. I want to be a part of it any way I can. I want to learn and, you know, whatever you can find a place for me, let me know. And yeah. uh, so I originally, the first thing he wanted me to, to do, I actually thought it was a test. So he's like, hey, listen, I got this, I got to do some research for this previous project. It'll only be a few days. And I think I was getting ready to leave for another challenge. Mm. And uh, I was like, yeah, sure. What do you mean? So we get up there and basically I was just, I had to reshoot scenes and basically I was just replacing somebody else. Right. So they had already shot a bunch of this, uh, of this project. And for whatever reason, I don't know what the reason was, but it didn't work out for whatever reason, but I was just going to re replace this person and just do scenes that were basically just by myself. And the whole, I didn't believe it for one bit. I was like, okay, this is a test. This is a test. Right. And then we, I think we shot from like mm -hmm. Tuesday to Friday. And at the end of the day, Friday it was about actually midday Friday. He's like, all right, I got good, good news yeah. and bad news. And he said, uh, he's like, well, we didn't get everything done that we wanted to get done. And immediately I'm like, oh, fuck, I blew it. Thanks, we'll on, thanks on me. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just going to go. Like, we'll go let TJ, I'm coming. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Back, DJ. Yeah. <laughs> back. And then uh, he's like, but the good news is we're going to um, make it a feature. And I was like, that's a good right? thing. <laughs> so, so. Wait, this movie's real? <laughs> They're like, yeah. I'm like, I thought you, I thought this was just like a test. They all just look at me and start laughing. I'm like, okay. And they're all just kind of like, hey, like, you know, it was kind of like a, like a past initiation or something. So, but what happened was that <laughs> ended up getting put uh, on hold for Most Dangerous Game. Mm, okay. So I was like, okay. And we actually just finished this last one. Uh, I literally just got back a couple days ago. Oh, wow. That's why cool. I had my, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I had the big old shag with yes, the big beard again. Yes, did. Yeah. <laughs> Lily got so mad at me. I, I, I was like, babe, I got good news. I goes, good news. The same thing I, they said to me, I told me, I'm like, babe, I got good news, man. Good news is I got another role. I got some more yeah. work. Bad news is I got to grow my beard. And she's trying to be so supportive, but she just looked at me. She's like, oh, okay. And she, I can see it in her face. <laughs> she's just like, okay. I go, good news is I got another rule. Bad news is I got to grow my yeah. beard. She's like, okay, I guess we just won't do anything in public for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. well, Karina hits me with the opposite. She's like, don't ever shave your face. Or You're I'm not allowed you. to shave your beard. Yeah. Never, ever, never. Yeah, but she'll be like, where's my husband? And she'll like, come up to me, take a picture of me, just so you know. Are you in, you're in there, right? Okay, I need my husband back. <laughs> so we went to the premiere and she's like, she finally met Justin. She was like, um, I need you guys to finish this one, this other project because I need my husband back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I get it. So she's, she's, um, uh, she's been, oh, she's working on another project and, uh, in my uh, different project, she's going to be, uh, opening up a new spot in Miami Ooh. soon. And so she's out there. Nice. Yeah. I'm really, really proud of her. Uh, it's going to be great. And uh, the guy wanted to be there to support her. Like she's super supportive yeah. of me. But at the same time, like here comes fucking Chewbacca with a button up on, you know? <laughs> 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 you know, so we're going out, you know, because you're mingling, you're socializing and stuff. And, you know, and I'll hear, you know, I come walking in with her. <laughs> 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 look, yeah. I'm gonna, I look. I, I appreciate it as a as a man that's yeah. followed me, challenged the ability to grow out hair that quickly, and you know, so <laughs> dude, rock it while you can, right? Yep. Uh, well, it's gone now, uh, but now I've got this uh, hockey mu mullet feather back. It's not so, it's not Swayze Roadhouse, Ooh. but it's <laughs> it went it went from like uh, George Michael Post Wham Rocky Four. Stallone and Cobra, and now it's kind of getting into like Ray LaMontagne slash <laughs> Pat Swayze oh, Roadhouse. Nice. <laughs> yeah, all right, dude, just don't pull the Jordan and throw a cowboy hat on it, too. Right. Uh, you know, I don't know what to do with it, though, but I'm kind of like, I, I've gone this far, you know, because it's like it grows into an awkward stage before it grows out of it, and now I'm finally getting right, out of yeah. it. 
So I think maybe I'm just getting used to it because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Know, I'm kind of feeling it, though. I love it, bro. I love that. Man. That's awesome. <laughs> so uh, here's a hypothetical for you. If you could cast yourself into any movie ever, what would it be? Ooh, ooh. And what role? Um, you know, immediately, immediately I want to go. I want to go to like. Um, like my favorite movie when I was growing up was, uh, do you remember Labyrinth oh, yes. with Jennifer Conley? 100%. 100%. Yes. yes. <laughs> was in the Bog of Eternal State. I used to love that movie, Jim Henson. And oh, all yeah. That. yeah. It's, it's classic. classic. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what and I did there. That is awesome. I love that. Hoggle. <laughs> yeah. The creepiest, I don't know why, the creepiest ones were the, um, those weird bird creatures that like would take their body parts off and put them back together in different hey, that, ways th- that one freaked me out when uh, i was a kid i don't know why <laughs> yeah i love that movie um but if i can guess what's up to any movie i would i really i would like to do um i would like to get into voiceover work i would mm-hmm. like to get uh i would love to be some sort of like some like dark creature yeah you know some like like old ancient like werewolf that comes out of like Oh yeah, that's finally awoken or something. Yeah, you can yeah. totally pull that uh, off. Almost like good evening, dude. You posted, uh, you posted a clip on your IG, and I forget what movie it was, but it was the guy from um, Game of Thrones. Oh, the uh, uncut uh, Kyle fight. Uh, yes, it was. It was what the one with the vampires. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I can see you doing something like that though, like that oh, kind yeah. of role. Yeah, I would like to do something super dark. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be so cool. That's awesome though. Yeah. So. Obviously, you know, I would love to do that. <laughs> obviously, we know that you've got, you know, future plans for for an, another project you just finished working on. So it sounds like you're continuing, you know, going to continue down the movie yeah. line. Um, is there any hope of us seeing you on the challenge again ever? Or is that kind of have you kind of feel like you're fulfilled? I, look, there? I, I, I never I'm not going to make mistake. Uh, I mean, like I've already done before and say i'm right. done you never say never <laughs> sail off in the sunset i mean the challenge <laughs> is a huge part of my yeah, life yeah. you know i have so much to be thankful for you know did you know for the longest time i um uh, sort of resented the show mm-hmm. but then i just think over time uh i've uh it's just I mean, maybe it's because i'm just getting older i uh i have a different appreciation for it you know yeah absolutely yeah 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 um but i, I just i mean you know, I, I, I just don't, it's, it's not that I, you know, sometimes I feel like the, the, the old man who complains about how music sucks nowadays, or <laughs> you're at the, I'm at the club and like, why is the music so loud? That's how I feel sometimes in, in the challenge house. Yeah. Like the weird dances they do and they, and then the stuff that they talk about <laughs> and the, the lingo, like, I don't know what half the shit is. I just sit there on oh, my cap. You mean cap? Oh my God. We Captain. just talked about this. <laughs> Took me forever to realize <laughs> it, it just meant lying. We right, just but. we just talked about this because we've yeah. uh, we've actually been doing exit interviews for the Challenge USA on CBS, and mm. we talked about this and just yesterday when we did the exit interview, we were talking about like the new lingo, and we we're like, "What is yeah. cap? Like, what is what is that?" I don't know. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God! You reach a second part of your life when you have to start going to Urban Dictionary to figure out what your kids saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I made the mistake, so I actually uh, like everybody. Uh, it just seemed like at one point everybody was rocking like extra tight black jeggings with the rip. They look like jeans, but they weren't. They were like yeah. spandex. Yeah. The jeggings, yeah. but they were yeah. all black and they had holes in them. Mm-hmm. So me trying to keep it young, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I, no, Lily is. I, I got a pair thinking I'm slick. Lily thought I look good in them. You know, it's kind of like my my mom says I'm handsome type of thing. I, yeah. I, I yeah. actually had them. Oh, <laughs> on set like why, when, when I was filming up in Washington and stay in the woods and we would just like, I think we had like wrapped and uh, we were going to go out and have like a dinner some drinks to, like, like, like I guess I would be what you would call like a wrap party right but it wasn't yeah yeah. yeah. And uh, so I come out of my trailer thinking I'm all fresh now because I was like, I want like, I want to put some normal clothes on. I get out. I think I'm so cool. I got my my uh, my jeggings on. That's what I call them now. <laughs> I never wear them ever. Yeah, I come out and fuck the first thing. Oh, the first thing I hear is, yo, those jeans are looking kind of young, bro. <laughs> and I just, <laughs> just like, ah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Time to change. 
I tried oh, to play it off like it didn't sting. It was a dagger straight to it. All right. right. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, that one. Looking yeah. kind of young, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quick what do you know about fashion? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Going home, yeah. I was like, "Fuck, fucking Lily." We do. <laughs> <laughs> one of my really good friends went through some shit like that. His wife bought him a pair of pants. He came to work one day, and they were. He tried to tell us that they were coral. It's like, bro, those are pink khakis. What are you doing? <laughs> They're saying, you know what, though? I, 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 it's funny how things are becoming a like full circle like everything from like feelers, like fanny mm-hmm. bags are coming yeah. back, windbreaker suits. Ooh, it's like if yeah. I had just saved all my shit from the late 80s, early 90s, <laughs> I'd be, yeah. I'd have some vintage shit right now, dialing right now. Dude, right. I, What's I all coming the, back? The feather backs yeah. and, the, and the rat tails, all of that. Well, yeah. dude, I just saw uh, baggy jeans are coming back now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they? Because I just I just started getting into the shorter shorts. Okay, I'm used to like wearing the shorts like below my knee. Now I'm like showing off some some thigh. Oh, you can do it. <laughs> what do they call them? The, ho- the guy hoochie shorts. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> no, no lie. Like I went to go buy a pair of shorts now, and they just automatically go above the knee. I'm like, uh, is this an age thing it's or what like, happened yeah. here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. just what it is. No one rocks the Fab Five style anymore. No, <laughs> no, no, nobody's not looking like Shaq and Kobe in '99. <laughs> those days. Uh, Man, I swear, if they come out with Jinko jeans, I'm buying another pair. <laughs> <laughs> Just look like a fool out there, right? But uh, <laughs> was um one thing I wanted to kind of know is with the most dangerous game is like how long was that process to film it? Ah, uh, shoot, that's a good question. Um, I want to. S- Say, I want to say close to a month, but there there were little breaks in between for like lo- location changes and mm-hmm. um. But I I want to say maybe yeah I want to say like say maybe three four weeks. That's uh, that's super so. impro- that's super impressive to me to yeah. be able to put together that level of a production in three to four weeks and form a full story in it. You know yeah, what I mean? Maybe that was good. just my part. No. Um. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You know that's a good question. But yeah, yeah, I uh. Yeah, most dangerous game. Uh, for the, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a uh, the rendition of an old classic short story from uh, the thirties, right? Late twenties, mm-hmm. early thirties. Yeah, yeah, I think it was like yes. twenty four. I think or it was like, like twenty. Yeah, yeah twenty four. It's about these uh, people go on a hunting trip and end up shipwrecked on an island where this crazy Nazi hunts humans for sport. Dude, it, it, let's let's be honest. It doesn't really get any better than that. I yeah, mean, like that is so cool. Let's yeah. re- just like really... the challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Minus TJ the is a crazy Nazi. TJ Von Wolf. Yeah. Right. Oh, TJ Von Wolf. TJ Von Wolf. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just picture him doing that crazy look with the eyebrow raised while he touches his fingertips with his fingertips. Yeah. With his oh trench my coat. gosh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the little triangle hand thing. Yep. Fuck, yeah. Could you, yeah. Could you imagine if, if TJ really did that? Like he he shoots someone and then you get the TJ laugh like a trivia. <laughs> Yeah, but instead of TJ, instead of TJ shooting anybody, he makes everybody kill each other. Right? Yeah. 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 And he just stands there and laughs. Just, we're calling this one the arena. TJ with an accent, German oh accent. My God. Right. Oh. It turns out there's just an arena in the middle of the island. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A loaf of bread. <laughs> oh Good luck. Yeah. Next person to get, last person out gets an Xbox. <clears throat> oh my! Oh my God! And the the Xboxes, the get, the prizes. How do you find a foghorn? <laughs> <laughs> the future. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, All you, oh, you hear is, you ready? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know where it's coming from. Everyone just starts running. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! The, the horn from like a 1921 Ford Model T. Oh! <laughs> 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 and TJ's laugh just rolling across the valley. Yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing! <laughs> oh my god! Oh wow! That is so great! Oh. Just random zip lines that are like <laughs> <laughs> that like lead to just like like another tree 
tree with like spikes hanging out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like an explosion goes off after you hit the zip line. Right. <laughs> Next on the eating challenge, we're like, oh, that's where we went. <laughs> oh, and he's like covering up somebody's leg like it's one of those gyro. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> like it's out past door. <laughs> A little tzatziki on it right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't forget. Oh, don't forget the tomato. Uh, don't forget the tomato. <laughs> <laughs> tomato oh I'm uh, fucking up man I'm dead <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that's amazing oh, fucking TJ that guy, I mean that guy's been working I don't, know, I don't know how that guy has time for anything now he's doing all stars he's doing all the challenges challenge USA it's just like yeah. Jesus yeah, yeah he's, he's doing a lot yeah he's doing a lot now it's it's crazy i'm glad he's hosting usa though i was i was hoping it would be him so i was glad so how does that. that so how does that work it's got uh so there's a bunch of different challenges so it's like war of the worlds but for real i guess it's i mean kind of so not, the winners I, all compete against each other in the end or something somehow yeah so there's gonna be the u.s version and then there's gonna be the australian version the uk version and the argentinian version and the we don't know how they're going to choose who moves on to the like international tournament. I think it's who makes the final for for each or something like it, that. It might be like, yeah, yeah, it might be like who makes the final. They haven't really told us. We presume it'll be who makes the final and and uh, they'll move on. And once, you know, all the finalists and winners are done for each country, then they'll meet and have a big, you know, battle and Challenge figure off. out who the who the international I mean, I, challenge champion is, which I don't think is fair if you guys are not there. I'm just saying. That's just me. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, all the challenge is changing. But look, at, I don't know how... I mean, there's no real world. There's no road rules. Right. Uh, how are you going to yeah. recast? There's no... Yeah. There's no one else to... And it's, it just to me, it just seems like the natural progression of the show. And if it... If the show continues to grow and... That, I mean, I, that's great. I'll tell you what, though. I hope that they don't lose sight of um but then again the, the show is changing i i right i i would like to see like not just like the like the fucking fighting and crying it's, yeah. I, and yeah. i feel like that flash in the pan but i get it, it it's a it, it's you know people want to see that but the the like what's leading what leads up to a blowout or what really leads up to a follow whereas before if there were controversial conversations that were happening it wouldn't just get deleted and i guess we give it what you wish for though because right. it, it's probably doing it for good reason but i don't know if it just felt like you can't, i don't know where i'm going with this no i i agree because like there, there's not i don't want to say a lack of a substance that's not real i it, guess we it's definitely changed, though. It's I think I, and I think kind of going to what you were just saying, MTV, especially for like someone like myself, like I grew up in Reno, Nevada. It's a small like backwoods fucking town in Nevada. Right. Yeah. But like so being open to those different levels of diversity wasn't through my, you know, being in town. It was seeing it on MTV. Right. Or learning about these things through MTV and having those discussions. And I think they might miss the yeah. mark on some of that. Yeah, it, it was about I mean, I'm going to see in the shows. They started in 92 during an actor strike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as an experiment, Mary Ellis Bunham and John Murray, who were best friends, she created Soch and he was a documentarist. And as an experiment, they started the real world. And I think the contract was like one page long. Right. And it was about taking people from different walks of life, putting them in the house and see how they coexist. Some people right. didn't get along. Some people did. Some people worked it out in like, you know, they were unlucky friends. Obviously they were enemies, but like you, you would have that, that, that process of, you know, trying to figure it out, you mm -hmm. know, that there was that drama. But then again, I guess maybe the show's changing and it's just more about it's leading toward just competition. I don't, yeah, I don't know. The, the whole quote fifth sport thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there were times like, say for example, the one I was talking about on, uh, was it world of the worlds when I was on the UK team, mm -hmm. I was really proud of that whole, like, I can't like I just pictured in my mind, like people watching, like, is he really going to be able to pull this off? Yeah. yeah. And then it was just mm -hmm. like, I remember like, I was in a conversation with someone about what we were planning on doing. If this happens and this, but if this happens and this will happen, we really need this and that. And oh, you know, we can't let this person know. And, Somebody starts screaming. The cameras are in our face, and then we just like got up mid sentence and just took off down the down the hallway. And I was just like, <laughs> I fucking suck now. 
<laughs> well, yeah. I, I I did want to kind of bring that back, and I wanted to ask because, like, we've heard you know uh, quite a few people care. talk about this. Um, Bunch that of old you, ass. <laughs> but that you, you you know the show well enough that you you know you'll tap a camera and be like, you want to you you're going to want to record this. Like, you help them produce the show in a way on stage, like an, an yeah, acting I producer. I, I do think I um you know part of me feels like a plant sometimes because it's. Mm-hmm. I don't like I'll, I'll get I'll, I'll I don't shy away from something um and, but I don't like I'll have some fun with stuff and maybe like pull a prank or something like that on somebody but I'm not specifically going in to be like and this has happened like uh, uh, over the course of I don't know the last couple of like four or five challenges I've done just coming back from invasion where somebody will come out to me like hey CT can I ask you a question do you, do you think I've done enough to get a call back and I just be like, uh, if if that's your, if you're going into it like that, it's not going to come off very genuine for one, two. Right. Yeah. I, uh, I, I don't, I'm not the person to ask about that, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, Cause I don't know if that's, it's not really a motive, you know, mm-hmm. for me. So it's just, it's different. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, babe. So really, I got, I got, a, I got a puppy. Right, me and CJ. Right, it was for CJ, <gasps> but it's really like my emotional support dog. However, oh. now that I got one, right, Lily wants. One. Lily wants one, of course. <laughs> Duh. So now she's got a Pomeranian, a pregnant one that which where the baby's about to. I mean, the the puppies or the dog, the Pomeranian is about to have the babies, or mm-hmm. the puppies, but her friend is in the process of moving and it's not healthy for the, for the dog to be moving around, right. Going back and forth and stuff. Right. So we're like, okay, we'll let him sit here. And I was like, wait a minute. Cause I thought she wanted a Pomeranian. So I'm like, are you doing this for your friend? Right. <laughs> Thinking that we're gonna, <laughs> one of the puppies just happens to not leave with the rest <laughs> of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this one got yeah. left behind. This, whoops. Whoops. This one yeah. is hidden. <laughs> It's funny because I've been like trying to. F- I, one thing she, I've noticed is I, I've noticed is that like, oh my goodness, look at this little cutie pie. <laughs> oh, um, she always gets away. So it's like, okay, you say I can't just go out and buy one. But however, if we somehow one just happens to be here, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yep. Dude, mm-hmm. That's facts. <laughs> that's that's just what wives do. Like Karina hits me with the, the kids. She knows the kids are my soft spot. She's like, you know what? The kids would really you know love what they a would dog. love it. They would love a puppy. <laughs> it's like shit. All right. They don't give a crap no. about that dog. That dog was for no. me. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Um. Yeah. Oh, so I, I you know part of me wants to say I wish the shows would kind of show more, not just. Like I, it was something more in depth with some more substance where you, you actually you show somebody at a not so, I don't know. I don't want to keep harping on it. I quit. <laughs> well, I think- because I don't want to sound like, uh, I don't want to sound like I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm know how to do someone else's job. Right. Right. Um, they're obviously doing something for a reason, but it just seems different. And I, I honestly just think it's cause I'm getting older. And that's why I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I could look forward to the challenge like I used to. Like I said, I really don't have anything to prove. And I do feel like it's a younger person's game. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I like, I don't really make much anymore. And I, like, I'm not going to go out fighting, you know, I'm married. Like, you know, I don't, yeah. Yeah. If I'm going there just to compete. I mean, sure. But you know what the thing is? You, you're filming three months, four months out of the year now. You do that twice a year. You're gone half the year. I got a family yeah. now with all the spinoffs and stuff. It's like, I have to. Yeah. I got to I, I gotta draw a line, you know? And I went on a good run and I feel like it's paid off. And, you know, it, 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 I think it'd be good to just, you know, at least just take it out of fourth, drop it in a second, you know, and, and just. Right. Maybe try some other things. I mean, I, I love the challenge and everything that it's done for me. I, um, yeah. and never say never, but I, I just, I don't know. Plus, don't you guys want to see somebody else win for once? No, 
<laughs> well, I mean, if you ask Karina, the answer is no. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I mean, here, I'll shoot the shot on this one. I've been talking about this one for a while. I think uh, it, it would oh be awesome God. to here see, <laughs> like, on season 40, maybe a comeback versus some of the people from the USA Challenge with all finalists, you know, kind of yeah. thing. You know, almost like another invasion, but only finalists can be on. Yeah. Kind of you know what I would? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I would? I would like to. I, I do see. I would like to, if I did come back, I'm just spitballing here, but they go on, say with, um, well, let me shut this door. I got no respect. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, would, yeah, I think it would be kind of cool. Like, okay, say if I, say me, Wes, and like Bananas were on there, right? Yeah. Throw a couple uh, um, old vets too from uh, on the female side. And mm-hmm. we just, we just don't give a shit. Yeah. So not that we don't give a shit, like we don't want to win. Of course, we're going to compete. We're never going to lay down. But we just kind of, we want to be there as long as we can. We want to put it on a good show, but we just kind of, just kind of troll the whole time, you know? Yeah. So like saying there's like a meeting on who we're going to vote for. It's like, who are we going to vote for today? Well, the obvious choice is everyone's going to go for this person. Okay. So that's the person we have to save. Right. You know? yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She's got to be good at something. Something. You know, let's just keep her around until she wins one. She's never yeah. done one. one. <laughs> Not if we don't help her, Wes. You know? Not, you know? <laughs> that would, that would actually be great. It, it, yeah. Right. And we're just, yeah. We that, do, would be yeah. Fun. that would be it would be it would remind me of like um what's that movie? It's like Tommy Lee, Tommy Lee Jones, um uh Clint East with they're like the old cowboys. Space cowboys. Um, the space cowboys, they're old the old astronauts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're just yeah. And we oh just come God. in like Working smarter, not harder, like doing like old pranks where you're taking out people's like <laughs> bed boards so they jump, yes. just like the old classics everyone <laughs> oh forgot God. about. You know, we yes. come in with like really old uniforms from like 20 oh my years ago. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, congratulations for winning this challenge. You got a thirty-five dollar gift card to <laughs> Applebee's. Yeah, yeah. T-Mobile Sidekick. Yeah, oh, you gotta shit. bring that. Oh my god, he did that. the T-Mobile Sidekick. A clue. A clue. Did people like, what are you? Why does he keep saying that? Pillows <laughs> start flying everywhere. Oh my god, yeah. think about it like this. So I'm talking to some kid. I'm like, listen, what are you thinking about doing here? Like, I know you hear about this and that. Blah blah blah. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> and like say like bananas and Wes are in the closet behind me. Right. And then the kid says something that we were fishing for, and all of a sudden you hear in the closet, a oh, clown! And then they get out and they walk away and they're looking at him like, oh, we got you dead to rights, buddy. You fucked up, you know? <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my God, that's yeah. amazing. That would be so entertaining. Oh my God. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I would, yeah, that, that'd be, that'd be worth the watch. It, without it would, a doubt. Something so like much. that, but I, yeah, I, I don't think, uh, I don't, you know, I, I, I it, it's so intense now that it's a pressure cooker. It, it, it's just everything. The so, I don't remember the, I guess it wasn't for, uh, for nearly as much money and, Hmm. I guess yeah. it means more now. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, I, it's definitely different. It's definitely different. There's a, uh, it, it's hard to have fun when when it's this. It, 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 you got to give it production. They just know how to just turn the dial up. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah I'll tell you one thing one. I do miss <laughs> from the challenges is actually being able to. It, it, one of the reasons you would fight to stay because you, you, it was so much fun where it was yeah. just. But it, I mean, times are different now, but it was, you would stay, you would fight to stay, not because we were getting paid shit, honestly, back in the day, but yeah. if you make it to the next day off, it would be worth it because they're going to take us into this city and, you know, we're going to go on this big, crazy trip and you would get to see the country where, I mean, maybe it's because of COVID and stuff now too, but everything is so isolated and you're in this bubble and it's just a pressure cooker where it's just yeah not there's not anything to look maybe it's just me because it does nothing no not there's nothing to look forward to but like i don't know it, it's just different and, and i i see your point too on it man being able to step away you know and now, 40 years away. old and i gotta ask to go to the bathroom you know sleep in a bucket <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> that's not fun well, i gotta yeah. ask for please sir please let me have one more drink 
<laughs> right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so we we talked to Josh a while ago, and you know he told us like that that kind of fight you guys had on War of the Worlds too. I think it was where you guys just kind of argued back and forth and yelled at each other and got a little heated, but nothing crazy or anything. No, that. I just thought he was being a goof. Like he was yeah. to me. He was. I don't know why he was. He was just. He was just being Josh, and I just didn't yeah. want to. I just, you know what? I get the fucking time. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. I, I just like, don't. I, I just knew he was. I know what you're fucking doing. You know damn well nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that's the only reason you you're doing it. He said, you know, that production was kind of keeping you from doing stuff you normally do, and it was getting you a little bit antsy too. And, and, oh, and like you said, yeah, like, give me some. Don't fucking. No one likes. No one likes a holdout. Listen, no, no, no. Nobody does. Papa need a smoky. Papa need a- <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, yeah. I, I I can relate on that one, you know. But oh. you know, it, the difference is, is like you know when you're not filming, you just do what you want. But like, you're right, having some thirty five year old PA telling you no, you can't do that. Man, it's like man, fuck you. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I, you know, I, I compare it to uh, uh, Never Never Land, you know, and I'm like Peter mm. Pan, you know. But you know, I'm at home, <laughs> I, you know, I, you know, I'm you know, I'm, I'm you know dad and married and stuff like that. I go to the challenge and I'm in Never Never Land and you know I sleep in a bunk bed and yeah. run around looking for snacks and playing stupid <laughs> games. You know? And that's how I feel. Totally makes sense. Yeah. But I, I would never say never. I know I guess that was a long no. <laughs> well, you're not complaining. <laughs> look, at the end of the day, it was like we get it, Chris. Like you got a lot of a lot of shit to weigh out, right? Yeah. You know, you got a lot on your plate to make a decision about because, mm-hmm. it, like, like you said, back in your 20s, it's just a decision for you. But now you got a family to to correlate into that decision making process. Yeah, I'd like to have one to come back to. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, going away three months at a time isn't always conducive, right? Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. I mean, you do that two times a year to sprinkle in some spinoffs, you know, and you're like, well, yeah, dude, that run you went on from like, what was it? Invasion, Dirty 30, Champs versus Pros. Like there was like six different seasons you did in like a three year mark. Yeah. And it is, it is really important to take breaks. It really is. I've noticed a difference. Uh, I think I noticed a difference in Nani. Maybe mm-hmm. that's um, the difference with uh, John A. Take yeah. that time to come, yeah. you know, the time off, and then you come back. You have a different mindset. Yeah, absolutely. A little older, I, I, and I think it's definitely important to do that. Um, I do too. Yeah. Otherwise, you go crazy. People have snapped. Yeah, oh. definitely. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I do want to press you on this one a little bit because I've given you some time to marinate. You got that uh, Mount Rushmore <laughs> list? <laughs> oh. right, He's Mount like, Rushmore. <laughs> Like no, I didn't think about it at all. Tom Ford for me. I mean, look. I mean, it's not going to be. It's not going to be any different than any other list, I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, I think I think the uh, inter- interesting Ford. thing with the Mount Rushmore list, right, is you can you can skew it any way you want. At the end of the yeah. day, right? Like right. is yeah. Like when we talked to Josh, like he, one of the first women he mentioned was Coral, right? Not because same with Wes. Yeah, Wes had with, Coral and Rachel immediately. He was like, boom. I was like, oh, that's awesome because I never hear them on the list, and they're yeah. great. Oh wow, you know, some that's cool. Yeah, I mean, if you were thinking about. I mean, where, where do you go from it? I mean, I think, man, do you, you go with people that you're just proud of in general? Do you do people that, you know, who's, who have, you know, done just, you know, I don't, I don't, the Mount Rushmore, I guess the Mount Rushmore, I guess would be my favorite people. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. I guess yeah. that's easy. None of them. Fuck them all. <laughs> Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Just me. <CT>. Yeah. <laughs> Big as life. Four there times. Yes. <laughs> Different hairstyles. Shave the mullet. <laughs> Fade. Who, who said this? We, we, we interviewed, was it Emmy? In fro. I was it Emmy was. that said that? I think it was. We actually interviewed Emmy and we were asking her and she was like, can I just put CT on all of them? Oh. I was like, if that's what you want to do, girl, get it. <laughs> she is so appreciative. I love her. Oh, she's yeah. so, she's so sweet. Yeah. 
Um, fuck, it's a long one, I feel like. If I say it, it's set in stone and then I have to defend it. I'm not prepared to. And I feel like <laughs> I'm being peer pressured into saying something that I'm not fully. You know what? CT, hold on to that because that'll give us a reason to bring you back here soon. Yeah, I'll yeah. come back. I'll just yeah. do a quick spot. I'll just randomly call in and be like, hey, I got my four. <laughs> I got my four ready. <laughs> yes, it's done. We're, we got right. this locked. So, okay, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> right? Do an update every three months. We'll just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have like a little one of those like breaking news things oh, right? up in the corner. Oh my god, that would be amazing. And I'm up there with like uh, one of those old school like reporter jackets with the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spectre or- gadget looking. Yeah, the search is on for <laughs> CT's Mount Rushmore. What was that? Some 3D glasses. <laughs> 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 one of those old school like um, baseball commentators. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what has been hailed as one of the most controversial topics in challenge <laughs> history? <laughs> GT's Mount Rushmore. The search is on. Stay tuned for more. Oh, my God. It'd, be oh, shit. It'd almost be like those clips at the end of 60 Minutes. So mm-hmm. I forget the guy's name where he just popped in and complained about something real quick and then got out. It's like, oh, look, yeah. right, my gears. <laughs> yes. Shoot. If we had oh. that route, that oh, so God. Good. You can do like, uh, I mean, what do you do? Like the people who really, and you probably, I don't know. Cause that's like the whole of all us. So you'd have to do like a, I mean, like the people that like really put the show on blast in the very beginning. Oh God, yeah. that's a tough one. That's how I kind of look at it is like, you know, the people who kind of like paved the way for the show to exist yeah. the way it does today, you know? Well, and that makes sense because, you know, like Kennedy's not on Mount Rushmore. None of like any real presence outside of what Roosevelt, right. You know, in the last yeah. hundred years, they're all founding fathers. So yeah, exactly. You know, I think that's a good correlation to it as like well. People who, who yeah, the, when it was like the, the wild West days when it was just, it, it was just no rules, you know, I don't know. Like the yeah. people who made it, made something out of it. Mm-hmm. People who had more of a influential impact. Maybe. I mean, you can, ooh. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm gonna let you marinate the, on this from later. We're we're gonna we're gonna have Stay to stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to do a two be continued <laughs> like TJ would do. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So, it's been 347 days since this Mount Rushmore started, <laughs> <laughs> and we've narrowed it down to one. <laughs> Watch something happen the next like season or so. And we could bring CT back. He's like, I had it, but then this happened, so now I gotta right. reevaluate. We're, gotta we're gonna have to table it again. Yeah. Can you imagine that I'm on like season 40. I can randomly come in with my notepad. Like, what are you doing? I'm just like, uh, <laughs> no, you never know. Someone here, someone here want to be on my Mount Rushmore. Huh? Right. Yeah. Now use it as leverage. Like, listen, I'm gas somebody up. I'm definitely putting you on my Mount Rushmore, bro. Absolutely. The way you played that game, yeah, I do. The only thing I could say that you could change is just, you know, not vote for me. Why? Because I got you. I see. <laughs> now, here's what I'm going to need you to do. I'm going to need you to go down there and volunteer yourself in, okay? <laughs> now, I only talked to TJ. He said, you could. <laughs> you know that's gonna work on Kyle. No, I don't know. <laughs> Good guy. Oh my god. Good guy. I love Kyle. So, uh, I had I mean two tough I mean uh so close two times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I feel like uh very much he's, he's, he's gonna, gonna get, get there. He's, he's gonna just get he's gonna, gonna get there. there. Yeah, I think he will too. I think he will get there if he doesn't give up. Yeah, yeah, same. I I feel kind of there's there's quite a few different guys that and girls that I think if they stick at it, it's yeah. inevitable. You know. Yeah, yeah, but there is that feeling of oh, I was so close. I don't want to have to start all over again. Yeah, no, and, and uh, it's uh, it, it's like hearing yeah, I I man, that's got to be a tough proposition. And and look, I think it speaks volumes that two of the people that we consider at least on our show, some of the greatest of all time, which is yourself and Cara took eight, nine seasons to Mm -hmm. win your first one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, she, what she was the, the first female to win a final. That was a, a co-ed final, right? Didn't she beat the guys in a final? Yeah. That was a, yeah. Vendettas. It was a co-ed final and she beat Zach. Yeah. You're right. She was the first one to ever do it. I don't, damn, I see, I don't know. I mean, so how come I, I don't, I haven't talked to her in a while, uh, but I don't know. I just, I find it hard to believe that she doesn't want to do them anymore. She's so good at them. I, yeah, right, so. that's a whole run another rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, I was like, bro, I can, I can run down that one, but that's, yeah. that's a deep one. I think, yeah. I think they kind of do want to come back. I don't know. Oh. But then again, I don't know shit. I'm just on the outside <laughs> looking in. You know what I mean? I He's see. better off that way. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I mean, with my personal opinion, I think they're both really good competitors. Um, mm-hmm. I think they both brought something, especially, of course, Kara, you know, brings a lot mm-hmm. to the show. Oh, yeah. I think mm-hmm. Polly brings a lot to the show, too. And I think I, I'd be happy to see him back on personally. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, me too. They've always been good to me. And, uh, you yeah. know, it's it's just like you said, the the show's changing. It's it's making changes. It's looking in different directions. And then, like you guys were talking earlier with the CBS stuff. I mean, who knows what's what's coming what's next? What's coming with that? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah it's just you know, one thing I, I i noticed and i guess it like you said it the, the show's just changing is the a lot of the conversations that are too controversial for them to show are the conversations that were encouraged for people to have right. back in the day exactly yes. yes they want you to make those waves to 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 get attention mm-hmm. but now it's just like no it's a liability you're out and don't get me wrong like where do you even how do you even i don't know but it just yeah it's like the from the well i guess that was more the real world than the challenge but then again that's like the challenge when the when the when the challenge first started it was about bringing i guess the popular cast members from real world and road rules together Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. you know, I remember we were on the oh, what challenge was that? I think it was Inferno. We were up all night long. So this was back when you could bring your own instruments and stuff. And then someone was like plucking away the guitar. We we're up drinking in front of a fire. Someone was grilling food. And one of the producers came in. And I was like, guys, you want to get some sleep? Uh, you know, we have a challenge tomorrow. And we were like, oh, right. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> we're not on you know, spring just, vacation. <laughs> right. But it was, it was kind of like the games were more of like just an excuse to have us here, you know? Right. It's, yeah. It's, but I, it's changed, I guess, a lot. But I just yeah. seen that, you know, at least, I mean, to an extent, I don't know. I would just like to see something more of a I don't know maybe I'm just getting old I don't know I I feel like <laughs> I feel like sometimes the challenge shines through like last year yeah. when you guys were doing the final and Nelson last lost that elimination uh, that moment that TJ had with him that was, and they showed uh, yeah. I, think, I think that's that's it, it transcends the challenge a little bit you know what I mean yeah mm. yeah that guy he's another <laughs> one yeah. I think he could do it I believe in Nelly same he, yes i mean what get him a proper partner he's gonna be just fine yeah. he, he was only a couple like a couple minutes behind you in invasion if i two remember two minutes right. and 22 seconds yeah 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 crazy yeah, <laughs> yeah and it was a big conspiracy <laughs> yeah it's like, what i don't understand is like okay if you think mtv thinks that they want an old ass married dude to be the face of their challenge and they want that person to keep winning like yeah. i don't then the, the whole the whole development team needs to get get fired yeah, yeah. yeah. no come on like, if, <laughs> if if we're but, writing a storyline they they need to bring someone in to quote unquote beat you to you know or something like that and that becomes the face that would be yeah. if it was fake. I, I, yeah you know i honestly do think that for a while when i first started coming back i was almost there to kind of give a boost to new kids that they were reintroduced that they were introducing to the audience mm-hmm. and you know sort of taken down i don't think i was expect i don't think i was supposed to do as well as i have been performing i i, mm-hmm. I do think i was there to sort of you know I guess make the new guys look good, you know, past my prime and everything. I don't think I was supposed to win. I think I was supposed to be beaten. And then it's like, mm-hmm. look at the new cast, you know, they even be right. CT and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, no, I, do. I, 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 I do though. I do. But I mean, that's just a, that's just, that's just, I mean, it's, but yeah, that's just, yeah, it's just that's gonna happen. I mean, I'm getting older. These kids are hungry. They are. Quote yeah. Jim Carrey. That's just how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> and I get it too. They take it far more seriously. I, 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 they should look. They, the, for the amount of exposure, not even now, but the amount of money they're making on in off. Yeah. They could shoot. Like, yeah. They're, they're very lucky. And I remember when um, Fessy and Josh got in that beef, and Fessy got sent packing. I was like, oh, I tried to, I tried to warn you. Like you guys, right. gonna, why go down that? Like, I, it's not cool. I've been there. Like, you're not going to get paid. You probably never come back. Like, right. You're ruining a good thing that, you know, for what? 
Yeah, for, for yeah. some petty. No, yeah, yeah exactly. I was very lucky to come back. I honestly didn't think uh, I was ever going to. Yeah. In my honest opinion, CT, I think that's why you are the face of this show is mm-hmm. because of your storyline at with the challenge as a person and as a person in the trials and tribulations you went through the the shit in the beginning with, you know, getting in fights and getting kicked off the show to, you know, making your comeback on invasions and Just the growth. It's yeah. it's it's, it's, yeah. A, it's a beautiful story arc. Oh, I basically I grew, kind of grew up in front of you guys. You yeah, know? absolutely. And I didn't really get it until I got older and I was like, oh, wow, that's kind of cool. You know, kind of <laughs> grew up, you know. Oh, shit, man. I remember being 17 watching you on uh, in Paris. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> some, you had some the hair back then, though, was the top. Hair. You know why yeah. I did that? So I, I um, when I got there. Over time, they they were like you know they were basically were saying you know like for photo shoots and stuff they wanted me to dress a certain way and then they were saying that I had to keep my hair cut the same way and I was kind of rebelling against it being all oh that's not real no no if you want me to do I'm not gonna do what you tell me you know fuck you I won't do what you tell me <laughs> so like I grew the big wig and I just kind of like didn't do shit yeah I was like I was doing the opposite of what they were telling me you know yeah no absolutely i mean oh uh, god i wish i hadn't though you ever see that dvd cover oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. bro. <laughs> bro. all right look i'm gonna tag you in what i'm posting after this interview uh, just so you can see the old picture all right right <laughs> and it's like i'm doing this weird like fighting mo- like punch thing it's like dude, yeah. you do not look tough at all <laughs> you look like you're about to get beat up look i'm gonna and be honest lunch is getting stolen you just got to explain it to CJ when he gets older that like sweater vests and collar shirts was the style then. Right. No, just gonna, I think I'm just going to buy every copy of that DVD. It can't be worth much. Right? <laughs> buy all the rights to it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, son. I'm just going to be. Yeah. Right. You know what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, it never existed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Uh, so I, I we have one question that we always ask, but I have one more that I wanted to get in there and give everybody else an opportunity because I know you've been on with us for like coming up on overload over Way two hours. Longer than we oh, asked. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so we really appreciate that. And it's we're having an absolute blast. Hopefully you got something you can use. I, I think we'll 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 be able to pull a little bit of content out of this. Yeah. Um, but one thing I wanted to know is you know, I've heard, you know, even Johnny talking about how you guys kind of approach going into the challenge is almost like working producers in front of the camera as well. Yeah. Have you ever thought about at some point, maybe stepping behind the camera and doing work oh, like that? I'd, I don't think they would ever allow it. Like I, I've, uh, I've joked with production about that because, you know, as I've gotten older, it's always been, this isn't going to last much longer. This isn't going to last much longer. And I never thought my 15 minutes was going to last over 15 years. Right. But then it was like, well, what am I going to do after that? You know, yeah. and be like, well, why don't you guys, you know, you know, you need help carrying some of that equipment around? Like, you know, <laughs> do I have to learn how to be a sound guy? You know? <laughs> Dude, my crafty game is on point. Like, right. You know? <laughs> Snacks for days, my friend. You know? Watch this. So you see me bake a cake? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The cake. The birthday cake. Oh yeah. So I, I, and even like the stunt guy, they'd be like, hey, guys, after this, you know. Yeah, one of the guys uh, was named. His name was Crash. It was a while ago, and I'm like, Crash, what do you think? Uh, you know, I got. I kind of have experience with this. What do you think? Uh, you know, maybe uh, I could be a stuntman on a, on a side. You know. Yeah. And yeah, but I think there's this. I, I I think there's. I don't know if it's just. I don't know if anybody ever has, and I don't know if they would be worried of collusion or. Yeah. Um, and which would that wouldn't be a problem with me because I barely talk to anybody as it is. Right, no. right. <laughs> no, I, no. Uh, so. I think the only person, as far to my knowledge, that's that's been in front of the camera and stuff behind the camera is Mark with All Stars. Um, yes, you know, but I mean, it's yeah. it's Mark Long, like. <laughs> yeah, that's. Um, yeah, that's gonna. I think about. So, is he an actual producer on the All Stars? Is uh, he got like? I believe so. Yeah, I think he gets a production credit. I don't know. If I don't he know does how much work he does, yeah. but yeah, but he does get a, a production credit, and then uh, obviously he's on the cast, and so hmm. so that's the only one I know of. And I was gonna say, yeah, I mean, in the last few seasons, I would say it looks like your best friend in the house is TJ sometimes, especially uh, when you see him <laughs> at the final. Oh my gosh, I know. Yeah, uh, yeah. T 
TJ. Yeah, dude. But I still don't think he likes me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Bro, I think he, he, he's also, he has to keep that professional wall up also. Maybe. Right. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. But with that being said, when you won with Amber being on 37, like I've never seen TJ so happy to see people finish. I've uh, never seen TJ line. hug a person like willingly oh, like, no hug a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no choice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he was getting hugged regardless. Yeah. Uh, look, at, I'll be honest with you. Part of me wanted to touch him first because I didn't know if he was the finish line. Even though Amber got there, she stopped. And I was like, well, I didn't know what was going to happen if there was going to be this. Now, okay, you guys get to decide on what to do with the money or anything. So I'm right. just like, it's not over. <laughs> <laughs> I get the choice. No. Yeah. I was going to tackle him if I had to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been that would have been incredible. I can haul broad TJ off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking up there with my hands in the air like I'm Rocky at the top of the stairs. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> he's still doing the finger tap thing with his eyebrow raised as he's falling to his death. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking stiff as a board. <laughs> oh my god! He's got wheelies on his sneakers. You can see the wheel spinning. <laughs> like, I knew he was a robot. Oh my god! Fucking does a Superman on the way down just for fucking style points. <laughs> oh my god! This is gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> Add this to my final. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh <laughs> Out of nowhere, a fucking parachute goes off and he, <laughs> <laughs> he really is like the James Bond of the fucking challenge he now. He is though. <laughs> uh, yeah. What else we got? So I so have been two hours. Wow, I went by fast. Yes, yeah, it's been actually two and a half two almost. And a half. <laughs> I gotta, get um, really, I gotta get better at talking about this uh, movie. Usually, yeah. it's uh, you all. Know, in all fairness, I uh, usually it's like it's like twenty minutes in and out, and the, whoever's talking will typically try to you know talk about the challenge, and I get it, but I always have to like circle back around to the show. But like I said, I've I've uh, you know I I am uh, I, I've listened. I listen to you guys. Oh well, that's awesome. Like and so, that- I was like, oh yeah, I definitely want to go on there and talk with them. It was only gonna be twenty minutes. I was like, "We'll see about that." I got some questions of my own. I gotta know what's up with the pillow people. <laughs> I gotta know. <laughs> got a few shout outs, you know. Right. Uh, you gotta you talk about like, drop dead Fred. I mean, I got I got some questions of my own. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we're so like cool. we're sitting here. We're like, if he gives us forty five minutes, man, we'll be so stoked. And then I looked, and we were at like the hour twenty. I was like, oh shit, let's go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, and you don't have to worry too much. I I think you got your friend. Hick, Johnny Hickey's in the group too, so he's yeah. he's keeping an eye peel too for you. Yeah, <laughs> for what? In the in the, in the Facebook, Facebook group with the pillows group. and shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he's in there. <laughs> with I us. believe. It. <laughs> yeah, he's he's cool. We like Johnny. Go but ahead. yeah, I mean, I, I just have the last um, question that I usually ask everyone. Tony, did you have anything else that you wanted to toss in before we let Chris get back to his day? I gotta go see what's going on with that dog. Yeah, we had talked like back and forth movies and things like that. I guess the only other one is like, what is that one movie that you can always go back to time and time again? It does not get old for you. I'm oh, I love a good sci fi. Oh, uh, yeah. Same. I can go for um, someone with um, Harrison for the original um, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. I love that one. I just love the dark readiness of it, too. And it's yeah. Um, oh, shoot. You know, that's a good one. Um, like right off the top of my head, like I can watch that one right now. Um, <laughs> that uh, is a solid one. It is a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what other ones? What other two? Oh, Huckleberry. Mm. You know, I've kind of hit like a lull uh, with uh, like shows and movies right now and even games too. I haven't really been gaming as much either. Mm. But right off the top of my head, I would go Blade Runner. Nice, yeah, I like that. Excellent. But that did that was just the first one that hit me. No, I I love it, and that actually it but that's, really. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. That's gonna be one of those questions where uh, as soon as we hang up the phone, I'm gonna have <laughs> other ones. I'm gonna be like fuck. <laughs> 
I forgot about this one. <laughs> I'll, I'll just chime in on the next episode. I'm like, oh, you get your Mount Rushmore? I'm like, no, I just thought of another movie there. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid? That shit's right. fire. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good movie. <laughs> Dark Crystal. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's a good one too. Uh, uh, there's no laughing about that one. Oh shit! So actually, that actually brought me one more really quick question. Do you watch the challenge, like the seasons that you're on, or maybe even just the ones that you're off, or do you not watch it at all? I pick and choose my battles. I um, yeah. some good happens, you know. Right, right. Or, um, I mean, what I usually end up doing, I'll be honest with you, I I, I listen to the recaps. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And then it's like, if there's something that, you know, then I'll, I'll, then I'll try to find like a clip of it somewhere, depending Mm -hmm. on what happened, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. But usually I'll just, uh, I'll listen to you guys and then, uh, and then I'll creep around. I'll make my rounds to other people too. Right. Uh, but you know, that's awesome. I love that. (laughs) Yeah. I'm, I'm creeping. I creep. (laughs) <laughs> it's low key. You might not, you might not see me, but I'm scrolling under the judging. radar. Yeah, I'm under the radar. There. Yeah, <laughs> watching, looking, listening. Right. <laughs> I love. Yeah. No lie, that's like my favorite meme. You might not see me online, but I'm always there, scrolling, judging. Yep. <laughs> like <Always. from> trolls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I have to know because otherwise, it's uh, if, if um, like if I someone hits me up to do, say like um. Marketing on the PR firm on me and Jason. I was like, "Hey, we want you to do some more, uh, do some interviews." And I'm like, "Wait, with who? Let me see." Fuck that motherfucker! <laughs> I heard him. <laughs> Episode fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh, absolutely shit. not. <laughs> oh shit! That's probably why we will never get Amanda right there. Oh uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So like I said, I, I just have my, my final question, Tony, were you good? I'm good. We got pretty much everything. Awesome. Um, so this is a question that we actually ask everybody. Um, but I have been very excited to ask you this question, but when everything's said and done, when you're done with acting, you're done with the challenge, all of that, what do you want people to remember about you? What message do you want to leave behind for people? Oh, um, a message, message, legacy, however you want to put yeah. it. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, uh, I don't, I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I have a fortune cookie one line I can hit you with, but. <laughs> the um, day Zeus and marrow rainbow. And like in this day and age, yeah, you know, it's almost, uh, uh, you know, you know what message I want to leave behind. Um, I don't know. Let's let's narrow it down a little bit. What right, I'm gonna add that to the Mount Rushmore, right? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna come back. I'm definitely just gonna like randomly come in and be like, I'll I'll like I will just I'm on social media. I'm like, y'all, I'm ready. Bro. You're welcome. Anytime. I got <laughs> one from Mount Rushmore. I got one for the fortune cookie. I got uh, <laughs> what else? Movie. Oh, the P- I got a couple movies for you. Right. <laughs> Look, bro, Mochi, yeah. you're, you're just giving Karina permission to send you the Zoom me- in be- uh, meeting invite on everyone. Right. Um, no. What would I? What was my message? I don't know. How do I have people think of me? Like, you know. Yeah. He's all right. You know, I'm all right. You know. I mean, give away wasteful. Like, uh, my, like say for example, like my mom. Uh, like I don't. She's the type of person. If she doesn't say anything, it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Give what she was for. Yeah. Hey, mom, what did you think about that? Sorry, I asked. I just shouldn't have said it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you no. Know, I don't know. You know, it's a lot. I don't. It's like I have to talk about myself in the third person. Now I gotta get preachy, and I don't like it when people do that when they're online and they have to like feel like they have this moral high ground to try to tell people he who sleeps with itchy bomb wakes up with smelly thumb. Like, I don't fucking know. Okay, uh, so let me let me rephrase that. I think uh, there's a better way of doing it. When you're done doing TV, doing movies, you decide you're gonna step away. What would you want? CJ to think about your time on in the entertainment industry, like to look at it and to walk away with. Would that be a fair way of putting it? Um, not CJ. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just want him to be. I just want him to have a. I just want him to be a good kid. I want him to just want him to be have an open heart. I, I, I think I, I get what you're saying. I yeah, I don't really care what he thinks about me. I don't know if he's. I don't know. See, it's, I'm going through that period right now where. um 
Like I can't be his best friend. I have to be his father and hate yeah. it. Um, yeah. Dude, I'm right there, dude. It's the fucking you know? it's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. I, I, I think I get what you're saying though. Like really at the end of the day, you want your legacy to be that your son is a well-rounded man. Yeah. I, I, I think, yeah. Like, yeah, he's a good kid, you know? Yeah, exactly. And, and what he grows into. No, I, yeah, I appreciate I, that. I heard really good. I read a really good quote. It was, um, it said that kids will never fail. Well, will always fail at listening to the parents, but they'll never fail at imitating them. Right. That's hundred percent accurate. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. True. Yeah. Very true. So you can somehow get him to not Google his name for the rest of his life. <laughs> 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 put one of those fucking, those search blockers on. Right. <laughs> Stay away from the CT comp. Compilation videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because that's what am I going to say to him? Like, oh, I am. Do as I say, not as I do. That shit don't work. Right. Like, oh, well, I want to try. Oh, that looks like fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dad, I thought you said fighting was bad. It's like, yeah, it, yeah, we, we, who, why'd you find that? <laughs> Oh, fuck. I, can just, I can see it now like CJ uh, tries to type in like the challenge or something it's just fucking blocked like admin access blocks the right. search term <laughs> well so uh, when I talked to him and I was telling him on that phone call when you uh, from uh, Drop Dead Fred um, mm-hmm. you know saying I'm out here with the, getting the bad guys or whatever um, mm-hmm. he doesn't he didn't know I was on television or anything so he didn't I didn't want him to know I it's, right. yeah. wasn't prepared to have that conversation with him yet yeah um, so, but then again, when I was saying about bad guys, he thinks, does he really think I'm out like, does he think that I might not come home? So maybe I shouldn't say that to him. <laughs> yeah. like, what if he dies? <laughs> so I was like, Ugh. but then there was also, we'd be, because he was getting older, we'd be at like brunch or something. And then all of a sudden he'd be like, why is this stranger? I thought we weren't supposed to talk to strangers, but this dad's taking a picture with a stranger right now. And it's just like, uh, you know, get to the yeah. point like, uh, Okay, that's to interesting it. too. Yeah, like why, why, why do strangers want pictures of my dad? Like, but that's then weird. there was, <laughs> well, yeah, but then there was one when I was filming the movie. Um, yeah, he was like, So you're gonna be, and I was telling him, you know, I'm getting ready to leave, and he's like, So you're gonna be gone for a long time again, and I'm like, Oh, like, mm. I'm no, I'm never gonna leave that long ever again. Oh, because he was talking about the challenge, but he didn't know that the so it's just like, Oh. No, never again, buddy. I'll have my phone on me. You can call me anytime. Aww. FaceTime. Yeah. Right. Oh, bro. I, yeah, I, I totally yeah, get right. that. Right. It's, uh, yeah, so that's, you know, so, like, I, I noticed it does make a difference. Like, I, I know yeah. like, when he was in kindergarten and I was gone for too long, he would kind of start lashing out in a mm-hmm. weird way. And then because mm-hmm. he was confused. And then, you know, the 10 minutes a week isn't enough. I'm sorry. No, 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 not at all, man. No. I, I wouldn't be able to do it either. I don't blame you whatsoever. Bro, I, I lose my shit when I'm away from my kids for a week on a business trip. Yeah. Like, I couldn't do Isn't it crazy now what happens? I sometimes miss my nap time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you haven't slept in about a month, okay? <laughs> <laughs> delirious at this point. Yeah. You know, it's funny how it works, though, because you'll, you're like, you finally are like, ah, I got some peace of quiet, finally. And then after a couple hours, you're like, no, oh, fucking, I'm bored. It's too quiet. It's yeah. too quiet. Like I miss them. Yeah. Yeah. Like our kids will go like stay the night at like cousins or, you know, whatever. And then like, we're like, woohoo, like, you know, parent night, no kids. And then it's like, like two hours into it. We're like, what did we used to do before we had kids? Cause like, I yeah. don't even know what to do with my time. I just miss my kids. Like yeah, <laughs> after a two hour scroll hole in front of the TV. Like, mm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Should we get some food or something? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I, I, I went out of town one time and I looked and I was like, I never thought I'd say this, but I miss playing with Hot Wheels with my kid right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah. all I want to do, you yeah. know. But oh, but well, Chris, thank you so much for, for joining us. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, dude, we've had fun. an absolute blast. Yeah, and, and I know she's contained it very well, but I believe <laughs> you have made Karina's fucking decade right now. <laughs> it was a series. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, this was, I still remember when I first joined the podcast, we were talking about dream guests. 
And I still remember Karina saying, it's never going to happen, but I would absolutely die if we got CT. <laughs> and here we sit. So I'm going to go die now. So yeah. little did you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's been trolling us for a while. Right? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude. I... Well, I'll give you some. Uh, I got some notes here. I got Mount Rushmore. I got to work on. And then I got movies and uh, the final dream team. Right. right yeah Absolutely. awesome no we'll definitely have you back on again Real. we would love it <laughs> like, like i said you have an open invitation whenever you want to come on Absolutely. you want to pop in for 10 minutes and do the quick sideline report you got it got new projects you want to talk about <laughs> anything just let us know I'll be like one of those reporters outside in the storm that gets hit with a stop sign <laughs> oh, <Right? shit>. <laughs> 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 oh, i finally my got my list together bang <laughs> 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 See a fly away in the background. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. So um, just to let everybody know, um, we're looking at releasing this on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to obviously tag uh, everything we can as far as with the most dangerous game, where you can find it, where you can watch Appreciate it. At. it. Yeah. Um, obviously, we will tag different social medias. Um, and then, you know, if you guys need anything you want to come back on at any time you're more than welcome we yeah. really appreciate your time marie's time yeah um, yeah no uh when you when you guys post it on on the gram i'll uh i'll give it a repost everybody oh, cool. out there thank uh, awesome. you yeah we appreciate yeah, no, no, it thank no, no. you oh wait i have one last question and this goes for promotion oh shoot how oh, my god how did we forget this all right let's hypothetically you're getting ready to go into a physical elimination or you just need to get hyped up for something what's your hype song Time to get ill. Beastie Boys. Time to get. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. Got you. All right. I love it. That's amazing. That's a good one. Chris, we want to thank you so much for your time. Dude. We really do appreciate it. And like I said, you're nice. more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any time. Even if you want to just come on and talk some shit about the current season or about anything in general, you're always more than welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Chris. We'll All talk right. to you soon. All right. All right. <laughs> Bye. 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 Oh, dude, my I didn't. God, I thought we were going to get an hour tops. Yeah. Uh, tops. OK, I was starting to get super stressed because we were getting close to the hour and we hadn't circled back to the movie. Yeah, but holy freaking shit, guys. We just got like two hours and 45 minutes with CT. We uh, for anyone listening, when we were getting this all set up, we literally asked for 45 minutes to maybe 60 minutes if we could push it to 60 minutes. Yeah. We just got two hours and 45 minutes of CT just talking the challenge, talking the like, I know I don't need to say that because you guys just listen to it. But I am. Oh, my God. Look, I'm just, that was so cool. I'm just going to kind of round it all up in this. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> this isn't really happening. Holy shit. It's really happening. Holy shit. It's already been an hour. Holy fuck. It's two hours. Oh did he just God. say he listens to us? Yeah. Did he just say he <laughs> listens? And he named off like a specific episode of ours. And then on top of that, fucking said, yeah, I'll just pop in on and you guys and answer a question. I'm just, dude, whatever the fuck you want to come on, dude, you can come on every week if you want. I don't care. Bro, this is your podcast yeah. now. I would like to point out that CT did the intro for us, not us. Yeah. How does he know our names? <laughs> he knew what? who I was. How the fuck did <laughs> How he does know? CT know my name? I am what? So, just quick thing. I'm glad we didn't bring up the West cameo. I'm really glad you didn't bring up the West cameo. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Shh. Don't make me look crazy, okay? <laughs> well, you're not that crazy. But, oh my God, guys, that was insane. Wow. Like, I'm not even a CT stan, as they put it like that. But I had a great time. And, dude, I don't care about what anyone says. MTV's fucking up because they don't show how funny CT really is. Dude, dude. I was yeah. rolling. Like, I, I think this is the first time I've ever had to sit here and massage my cheeks because they fucking hurt from smiling and laughing so much. Like, he is so funny. 
it all was, the time. Yeah, that was top notch. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, gosh. the the TJ thing off the cliff, hall oh, brawl with TJ fuck. on the cl- on the top of the cliff, and then doing the Rocky thing. <laughs> Look, and I also have a much a higher appreciation oh. for CT because I see he also correlates things to memes as well. So that's a strong <laughs> correlation, and, right memes there. Memes and Star Wars. I am with it. Let's go. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> and I like that when he was talking about his co-stars on the most dangerous game his mind immediately went to all the same movies that our minds all went to when we were yes. looking at the cast list. Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, as soon as he said Rico, I was like, fuck dude, how do I like this guy even more now? I know. Yes. Right. Oh my gosh. I love him even more. That was so freaking cool. And the, literally the amount of time that he was willing to give us like totally that is incredible. Like that was incredible because like, it, we know we all know like ct's a busy guy you know he even said like he just got done filming another project within the last couple of days you know so it's just like ah oh, i just i i cannot believe that we got to sit here and just like talk with him for like over two and a half hours and what? about everything his family lily mm. cj the challenge, the movies, like I think the only thing we didn't actually get to touch on, um, but we are going to link all of the information for this down below as well, uh, was his appearance in Habitual, um, yeah, yeah. which was the first film that he was actually in and, and it was directed and and the co- uh, one of his co-stars was Johnny Hickey, his, you know, his best friend, best man at the wedding and everything. Mm-hmm. And that was the only one we didn't really get to touch on. And I really wanted to, but it just, you know, it just didn't, we didn't really get around to it, but we're going to have that link down below too. That's a really Mm -hmm. good movie. CT's character in that is much different than uh, Rainsford in the most dangerous game. So if you guys haven't seen habitual, make sure you guys check that out too. But man, like that was just, oh, I'm just, I can't even do this closing because I'm just like floating right now. Like, I don't even know like what to say other than holy shit. <laughs> I mean, I know what I want to say, but it's not appropriate. So I'm not going to say it. But what I will say is that, look, guys, I'm going to go real Tory deal on this. If you try really hard and you believe it, your dreams can come true. Dude, for real. For that real. is so cliche, but it is fucking true because you know what? Like, and we say this on Instagram all the time. Every time we do one of those those um, little, uh, you know, the poll thing or the questionnaire things, the AMA things on the um, on the Instagram stories. And I'm always like, oh, who would you guys like to hear us interview or whatever? And the number one answer is always CT. It is always CT. And I think it's because CT doesn't do interviews like this very often. And when he does, you know, we kind of touched on this before is that they typically tend to be like 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, right around there. Um, It's very rare that you find a long form interview such as this. And, you know, and so it was like one of those things where it's like, we're always going to try for you guys. Um, We can't promise you that we'll get CT, but we're always going to try for you guys. And we have been trying. And it worked like it is possible, guys. It is possible to get the things that you want the most. And yeah, I think that is a really, really great message to to end on with something like this. Like, oh, dreams come true, people. Dreams come true. Okay. (laughs) Look, I just, you know what? We've just like everybody we're not special like we've had naysayers that tell us we can't do certain things we were literally told straight up that we would never get ct that we would never ever be able to get ct but at the end of the day all that really matters is that you focus on what you do you keep working hard on it and if you're passionate about it you know go after it and you never know what may happen like you know, we may never get one of the people I want to interview most, but we got one of the people that Karina really wanted to interview most. And yeah. and that's what's important. At the end of the day, go after what you want. Guys, I love you all so much. I'm so glad you guys were able to tune in and listen. I can't even do the sign off because I really have to get back to work. This was only supposed <laughs> to be an hour interview. I was supposed to be back to my job at 1130. It's now <laughs> almost one o'clock. So, yeah, um, unless you guys have anything else you want to add, you want me to wrap it? I, you know what? I think I think CT said. Like, there's nothing that we could say that could top what CT had to say in this. And I think it's best to just leave it at what CT had to say. And um, yeah, keep an eye out, guys, because apparently we're going to have CT on some more. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, this this episode is proof of like what we've been saying about beyond the edit and the way the reason we do the unplugged episodes 
is because you only get a finite amount of information about these challengers, even when they've been on for years. Mm-hmm. So Forever, I mean, yeah. I feel like I've learned more about CT just kind of shooting the shit with them over the past like two out two plus hours than watching his entire run on the exactly. challenge. Exactly, I agree. Um, I agree a hundred percent with that. Yeah, and. The only thing I'll add is that I know full well for me, like in Canada, as far as being able to watch the most dangerous game, um, I rented it on YouTube last night, but it was also available on iTunes and I believe the Cineplex app mm-hmm. um, and I think Prime. Yeah, I know that that's I know that's where we saw it was on Prime, um, but I'm going to put as many links as I possibly can for anyone in Canada, um, United States. And then, you know, I'm just going to see where the movie is available. Um, you know, for people who may be in other countries, I know that, you know, TV stations and availability for movies and stuff like that changes depending on where you are in the world. So we are going to do our best to link as many places that, that the most dangerous game is available. We're going to do our best to link as many of those places down below in the description. So make sure you check that out if you have not seen the movie yet. And um, yeah, I mean, if if y'all haven't rated us five stars by now, you better go rate us five fucking stars right now because we just got CT, baby. (laughs) I just I just rated myself 10 stars on this one. All right, guys, for myself, Ricky Hayes, my beautiful floating still got butterflies wife, Karina. (laughs) And then Tony, stats, info, and nothing but movie fucking knowledge, Lance. (laughs) We want to thank you guys for tuning into this very special episode of Challengers Unplugged slash The Most Dangerous Game with none other than Chris C.T. Tamborello. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We love y'all. Like Karina said, go rate us five stars. Make sure you're subscribing so you get notifications when new podcasts drop. We love y'all. Be good. Later. Bye.